Sacramento. It's your boy Drapes holding it down. Got my man Jay Johnson behind the boards for the next four hours. Our guy, Kevin Whitey Gleason, not with us today, t- attending to a family matter. I don't want to share with what it is, but it's good news. And so no need to be alarmed, no need to be concerned. He should be back tomorrow with us here on The Drive Guys on Sacktown Sports 1140. I tell you, Jay, I'm upset, man. Uh-oh. I- I'm, uh, it's been a bad day, dude. It's You know how, you know. Upset. Yes, Ice Cube got the song. It was a good day. Like, everything fell into place. Well, going back towards yesterday, everything has just been awful for your boy Drapes. I'm in a mood today, big fella. I can't even count on my Sacramento Kings to get a win. I can't even wake up feeling good looking at the standings. It's raining outside. Had to cancel my golf lesson. I had a golf lesson today. With Tommy Morton? Yes, my guy Tom Morton. I had a golf lesson, but I had to cancel that today. To get ready for, and so I'm in a bad mood. Golfers don't play in, in the weather. No, they do, big fella. So that's a hobby. I, I, I keep I, telling I, you. I wanted to come in today fully prepared, fully focused, because I know it's going to be a big show here over the next four hours. 916 339 1140. 916 339 1140. That's how you can talk to me and Jay over the next four hours. We got a great show coming up. Uh, we're going to have some guests. We're going to get into what happened last night. We're going to talk about this Caitlin Clark situation. What about the Sacramento A's? Because there's a lot of hypocrites going on out there, a lot of chatter out there. And I'm telling you, some people are being hypocrites. I'll tell you who I'm talking about coming up in just a little bit. But, Jay, first, let's dive into what the heck happened last night. We had a great show yesterday. We were live at Beach Hut Deli, had several fans come on by. Shout out to my guy, Manny Too Legit, laced him with a couple of Less tickets. Them. Yes, sir, with, uh, for Friday's game. So everything was feeling good. I felt the vibe in the arena. I felt the buzz from the crowd. The crowd was ready. And then the squad come out. And I'm talking about the Sacramento Kings. They come out and get smacked up. When I say smacked up, it was like this. Smacked up. And not just in the third quarter. Third quarter was bad. You give up 38 points in the third quarter. That's bad. But I thought they lost last night's game to the Dallas Mavericks, Jay, in the first half, believe it or not. Final score, 132 96, and honestly, it wasn't even that close. Second half, the Mavericks built a 39-point lead. They, I thought, took it to the Kings right from the opening tip. And this was the biggest regular season game for the Sacramento Kings this year. And they came out and laid an egg. And so I'm in my feelings today, Big Bob. I can dig it. I, I'm not feeling well. I'm not happy. Hopefully we have some callers and people calling in and they won't be talking nonsense because I'm not in the mood for it, man. This one stung last night. This is the one that I'm like, De'Aaron Fox talked about it. DeMontis Sabonis talked about it. They all knew what was at stake last night, Jay, and they laid an egg. Yeah. I, I, it, it, it's a little difficult to take what, 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 what we need to receive. And I, I, I'm still trying to, as you see, I'm still trying to find my words because I, I don't want to make excuses for the Kings. I also don't want to you know, make sure that the Sports 1140 listeners understand that I'm not, you know, saying that it's okay that the Dallas Mavericks came I in here, know, like you Jay. said, and, and curb stomp the <laughs> Sacramento Kings. But I think this is going to surprise you, and it's going to surprise a lot of people who listen to this show and uh, who know me. I don't want to say yesterday was like humongous or it was minimal. I took it as, and it may just because they got, you know, suplexed. They got power slammed. They got clothesline, you know, for all the for all the wrestling <laughs> fans who I'm not. But it's a game. It was it's a game. They took the L, and I think because they got smoked so bad, I'm just charging it off as it's a game. I'm looking forward to Friday, <laughs> and I'm like, it's one of eighty two. Jay, I respect you. I know the significance. You're, you're, I know what's coming guy. my way. <laughs> you're, you're my guy. I respect you. But that's loser's mentality, Jay. Ah, it's a, it's, it's not. just a game. We can't spend all week pointing to last night's game, Jay. You're we right. can't spend all day yesterday. Oh, it's a massive game. And then when the squad lay in it, oh, it's just one of 82. It'll be okay. We can't do that, Jay. I agree. I, and maybe maybe I need to cl- maybe I need to take a step back and clarify one more time. <laughs> Please me, do. Give, Please let me, do. Let me give Please you one more run. I'm, I'm, one more run. I'm angry today, man. I'm on one today. <laughs> Have you eaten? Did you get your popcorn? You know what? Do Real we need co- to bless no, you? No, I need some popcorn. Okay. <laughs> Real quick, Jay, before you make your point. 
I got a Starbucks in my hand. Okay. Right? Starbucks is sort of like McDonald's, Wendy's. You know what you're going to get when you go there. Like, no True. matter what Starbucks True. you yep. go to, it should be the same. True. This drink right here is a boomer. It's trash, not reaching. Oh. bro. That's what I'm saying. Nothing Dang. is going right right now, bro. Oh. So please explain yourself. Okay. So what I'm trying to say, Drapes and, and listeners, is this. The game was monumental. It was huge. Mm-hmm. I accept all of that that's getting ready to come for the rest of the next four hours. I'm, I understand where you're coming from, too, at the same point. What I'm saying to you is, is sometimes throughout the season, even when you take a bad loss like you did on national television in front of Draper, who didn't have to do pre and post yeah. in front of me and the wife who were there for the first time together this year, Ooh. I get it. You know, and I talked to a few people I was like, man, it's my first one or I've been looking forward to this one. And they they didn't they didn't come with the smoke. They got smoked. Let's just cross it off as a day on the calendar and let's push forward. Positive thinking. <laughs> it's one of 82 <laughs> drapes. It's just another game. And I understand why and what people are getting ready to say, Jay, you crazy you out your mind. That was huge. It was on national TV. We cry about getting our respect. Simone is back here. She looking at me funny style. I understand <laughs> it. I get it. I'm just saying, and I know the surprises people coming from me. I'm looking at it as one of 82. I'm trying again. And I guess I'm trying to put it behind me drapes. Right. And I'm, I'm just going to scratch it off as a, a calendar day. I'm looking forward to Friday. I, I, I'm shocked by that <laughs> because here, here's the thing, Jay, because I, I, I know you value hard work, competitiveness, yes. bi- capturing the moment, big games. If they would have lost by one or two, I'd say, you know what? They just got us. You know what? We fought hard, but I don't know if we can say that, man, they came in and curb stomped us. And the problem is, and, and, I, and I hope things will be different Friday. The Dallas Mavericks that we saw last night, Jay, they are a much better team than the one we saw earlier this season. I'm afraid of this Dallas Mavericks team. We started off the show yesterday talking about how Luka and Kyrie are awful defensively. Well, the Mavericks hid those two guys. They did. Luka, you know, he started off on Keon, but after three possessions, he went to Harrison Barnes. Barnes yeah. Kyrie went to Keon Ellis, yeah. you know? And so that concerns me, man. And because our one advantage we had is we would be able to pick on those guys. And if it's not HB or Keon Ellis, like they're going to have to step up then. if Because the same game plan is going to happen on Friday. Absolutely. And, and so that's what frustrates me about this is Friday, I know the uh, Golden One Center going to be lit. I know the crowd's going to be ready. I know our guys are going to be ready. But it might not matter, Jay. This Dallas Mavericks team, Mm. they might be legit, bro. You think they've gotten that much better since the last time the Kings have seen them and you've been able to put your eyes on them, you know, personally and not in in person and not on television, that you think this team may be better than the Kings? I I think this team, in terms of matchups, Mm, got you. This is a, a Pelicans kind of matchup for us, I think. And let Ooh, me tell you why. Gafford Jay. longer playing. Let, let, yeah, I got let, they got Gafford. Mm-hmm. They got PJ. Yeah. I did my research. All right. Derek Jones Jr. Love him. Love him, right? His wingspan, seven feet. Okay. Dante Exum, who's listed as 6'5. His wingspan, 6'9". Hold on, Jay. Let me finish. Let me finish here. Let me keep going because this is the concern that I have. P.J. Washington, who lit us up, his wingspan, 7'2 and a half. Mm. I'm not done. Daniel Gafford, who we love, 7 feet, 2.25 inches. Mm. Derek Lively, wingspan, 7'8". This is the kind of team that causes problems for Sacramento. And I've said it time and time again, if I'm Monty McNair, it's not about going out there and get shooting. It's not about going out there and get a rim protector. It's about getting positional length. And that's what Dallas did at the trade deadline. And that's what I thought, you know, really caught us off guard and caused us so many problems last night. That's a great point. And, uh, you know, when you're, you're reading off these names, Drapes, you know, every single time it just pops in my mind, New Orleans Pelicans. Right. It sounds like the Pelicans. The Zions, the B.I.s, the McCullums, the Herb Jones. Yes. You know, it sounds like them. And I hear where you're going. And we all know Kings haven't beat the Pelicans. We all know the Pelicans give the Kings absolute any type. Right. of. And I, I'll give you an inside look. D.C. Coach Doug Christie yes. 
who will be on our show probably tomorrow or Friday. All right. He came uh I was speaking to him. He came into the studio a couple of days ago and I was asking about the Wizards and all that type of stuff and he was like, "You know what?" And I I follow that with if we were to see Oklahoma City versus Denver versus um Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah. Who would you be worried about? And he's like, none of them. Really? I'm like, seriously? Yeah. You know who I'm worried and I who I'm worried about? And I was like, Phoenix? He's like, no. He's like, I'm worried about the Clippers. Ooh. And I'm worried about the Pelicans. Mm. And I said, I kind of know why. Right. But I right. want to know. Yeah. And he was like, just what you said. Length, being physical. Yes. Coming at us. Relentlessness. Like these type of things, but the first thing you sent was length. Length. It's like, yeah. dude, I they, they scare me because how long they are. We have the ability to run around people. We have the ability to out scheme people. We have the ability to um quit out quick people yeah. sometimes. Right. You know, we can out shoot people. And we've talked about that on this show. The Kings have to hit their shots, which they did not at all in the second half, which I will talk about this. I thought the third quarter was one of the worst quarters they played, (laughs) let alone the second half. But that's someone who's in the building. That's someone who's like Kyle Draper, who's around this team, Mm -hmm. that's practiced, that practice with this team, sees this team, hears this team. And if you and him and other coaches that we've had on this show continue to talk about it, then guess what? I'm going to be smart enough to understand that's a problem for the Kings. Yes. And I, yesterday, the Mavs definitely look like a different team. They looked a little more bulkier. They looked right. a little more longer. They looked a little more athletic. They looked a lot faster than I remember. Yep. You know, Kyrie came out with some elusiveness that I hadn't, I felt like I hadn't <laughs> seen in a while from him. I don't know what you thought about that. Did you think he was, and there was a point in time, Kyrie kind of has this all the time, Drape, so correct me if I'm wrong. There's a part in time during each game Kyrie's playing when he's on, He's going to test the balance of, can I go get eight buckets right, in a row? Yeah. Can I, can I put, he's going to put his foot on the pass yes. pedal. Right. And you saw that right. in the third quarter yep. to the point to where it's funny. I'm sitting there looking and he was right in front of the Kings bench. And I don't know if you were paying attention as they were bringing a ball up, they were running the offense. He had his hands on his knees and he had already hit the last two shots. The two threes where it was like, Oh, that's cold. Yeah. I, those ones. And the third one, he got the ball real quick and shot and missed. And I was like, okay, that's the end of that Kyrie run. Okay. But the two, three possessions in front of that, yeah. I was like, oh, he's trying to win the game now. Right. Yes. And they did. Yes, they did. He he was going for the kill. And we're going to talk about this coming up at three o'clock. Uh, we're going to gauge the pulse of Kings Nation. How do you cope with this King season, this roller coaster? Do you go out there and play golf? Do you uh, go out to a special dinner with your family, some special time with your spouse or something like that? Because I'm struggling right now, Kings fans. The rain outside, I didn't have my golf lesson. I don't know how to cope with what's happening with our squad. One minute, we look like we could be Western Conference Finals contenders. The next, we look like, you know what? We don't belong on the same floor as some of the best teams. We're going to take your calls, 916-339-1140. But coming up next, it's Drape's Take. You're listening to The Drive, guys, here on Sacktown Sports 1140. DeMontis Sabonis plays here. He finds Sabonis with the frosting on the cake, with the cherry on the sundae. Sabonis with a two-hand punch, makes it 114-106. Sacktown Sports is your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. When you take the time to shop at Folsom Lake Honda, there's one thing you'll always find. Happy people ready to serve you. As a family owned and operated dealership since 2009, customer service is our number one priority. Our customers love doing business with us and you will too. Looking to own or lease? During the spring sales event, drive a brand new Accord or Civic. Visit us today at FolsomLakeHonda.com, your one-stop Honda shop. Folsom Lake Honda, At Ashton and Price, we get injury victims to yes. Experience, yes. Ashton and Price has been around for over 25 years. No more insurance companies, yes. Our clients focus on getting better and we handle all the rest. Results, yes. We've collected over $100 million for injury victims. No fee until we win, yes. Our clients pay nothing until we win. Ashton and Price, the best at getting to yes. Remember, for the best advice, don't think twice. Call Ashton.
39, 11, 40. How are you feeling, Kings Nation, after yesterday's loss, the biggest regular season game of the year, and the Kings just got stomped on their home floor by Luka, Kyrie, and the Dallas Mavericks. And the thing, you know, as we go back and, and talk about the changes, Dick, Jay, that the Mavs made, the Mavs, Luka and Kyrie may be their team. It may be their team, the Stars. Yeah. But that team doesn't take on the personality of those two guys, if, if that makes sense, you know? It does. It, 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 it's like those two guys, you know, they're they're great players. We know that. But they're not grimy. They're not physical. They're not up. At, I felt like the others really set the tone. The Derrick Jones Juniors, the P.J. Washingtons, the Gaffords, the Derrick Lively off the bench. Mm, like Tim Hardaway Tim Jr. Tim Hardaway Jr. Oof. Like those guys play with like an edge of physica physicality. I don't think Kyrie and Luka play like that. But the moves they made to surround those guys – and maybe Monty McNair can take a page out of that book because, you know, when you talk about De'Aaron and, and some of our guys, maybe we need those kind of guys around them so, yeah. so that we can be like that. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think it, I agree with you. I, I do think they've kind of re-imaged, re, um, reinvigorated their lineup. And as I said, I go back to you talk about the length, the athleticism for me. I felt like they got younger compared to the last three or four years. You know, let's not forget at one point in time, they was running out DeAndre Jordan about three, four yeah, years ago. Yeah, yeah. And so I really thought they got a lot younger. I thought they, they reminded me of the Western conference final run that they made a couple of years ago mm -hmm. with, um, and goodness, they're blank. My, my guy up that's up there in, uh, Brooklyn right now. And, uh, uh who are you talking uh, about? Goodness, I'm blanking. Oh, Spencer Dinwid? No, no not, not Dinwid. He's in LA uh, now. They're three and four, which they're both. Dorian Finney Smith. Dorian Finney yeah, Smith, yeah. yeah. Dorian Finney. And yep. who was, remember him and is it Buford or who was the one that was next to him? And they were kind of, they were considered like the knuckleheads. I don't oh, know. I mean, I'm a, I'll yeah, go back. Yeah, I can't yeah, think yeah, of it. Yeah, get but from I, I do think they reminded me of that Western Conference final run mm -hmm. team where they're a little more athletic. They're a little more three and D ish, you know, and like yes. Luca cook for the most part. And when you got Kyrie, who's really intertwined in what he's doing, man, they definitely look better than I remember. Them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And they give them credit. They won nine out of their last 10. Uh, they're nine and two in their last 11. Like they're playing their best basketball of the season. And they brought it to the Sacramento Kings, especially in that third quarter, 38 to 23. They outscored them in that third quarter. And, Let's be honest, it wasn't even that close, you know, the third quarter. Kings tried to make a run late, but coming out of the timeout, coming out of halftime, I thought Dallas uh, really brought the focus. And we saw it with the Kings right from the opening jump to start that second half where they turned the ball over on their first possession. Dallas went down to score, and then that was the rest of it. They went on to win 132 to 96. All right, let's get into Drape's takes right now because I got a lot to say about last night's game. Jay, run it. <laughs> calm down, line. Calm down. Take it easy, man. Just take it easy. <laughs> Before you go, Reggie Bullock. That's what <laughs> oh, I was trying right, to think. Reggie Bullock. All right, all right, all right. Reggie Bullock, yes. It is time for Drape's takes, everybody. Obviously, not the way we wanted last night to play out. 132 96, Dallas with the win. Three things stood out to me, and I'll start first by saying I thought the Kings lost this game in the first half. Luka Doncic, it was light work for him in the first half, and I said it during yesterday's show as we got ready for the game. Guarding your yard, the man-to-man -man defense, on-ball defense had to be on point. Luka, I thought, picked apart the Kings' man-to-man -man defense he got what he wanted out there. Forget about the 26 first uh, half points uh, that he put up. Luka in the first quarter only had seven. P.J. Washington hit three threes. He had nine points. And I said before the show yesterday, during the show yesterday, if you can guard Luka one-on-one, -on -one, don't help too much, then you can stymie the other guys. Because the Derrick Jones Jr. of the world, P.J. Washington, Daniel Gafford, they don't get in their bag. They get their points, Jay, off of Luka and yes. Kyrie. Yes. And I didn't think the Kings' on-ball defense was good enough last night. Yeah, I agree. I like where you're going there, Drapes. The creators, the creation of this offense, as much as it comes from Jason Kidd, I do 
totally believe. You see Luca with the ball in his hand 99% of the time, and when Kyrie has the ball, we know he's already a creator. I think they have a lot of people who assist with Luca and Kyrie yes. in a good way. And, and that brings me to my second point, Jay, and, and, and some people might not like this, but I'm going to just call it like I see it. I'm not going to kiss up to the fans out there or anything like that like some other shows do. I'm going to give it to you real. The difference between Dallas and Sacramento last night, and this is something I really think Monty has to address. This goes back to, Jay, why I wanted a Zach Levine at the trade deadline. I feel like our offense is greater than the sum of our individual parts. Let me explain myself. When we run our offense, it's great. But when the offense bogs down, we are lost. What's Dallas's offense? I don't even know if they run an offense. Yeah, I'm not they sure. They got Luka. They got Kyrie, Kyrie that can yeah. create. They got Tim Hardaway Jr. that can create. They got guys put the ball in their hand, and then everybody else plays off them. I feel like at times when our offense is stymied, maybe we stick with it too long. Maybe we don't go into our pick and roll bag or, or, or Fox doesn't take over or Malik doesn't take over. But we need playmakers, man. Guys that can get their own shot in outside of the offense. I feel like Dallas, their two guys are two elite guys at that. But when the offense bogs down, you can't stop Luka. No. You can't stop um, Kyrie. But you can stop our offense. And that's what I thought happened yesterday. I thought the Mavs' length and size really affected our offense. And I think as we go forward here in Sacramento, we got to get guys that can get in their bag, can score – Maybe Keegan Murray takes that leap uh, next season. But I, I feel like yesterday reminded me of the Golden State series, what we saw last night. Uh, you know, last night what we saw reminded me of the Golden State series where our offense, dude, you ain't going to win no game shooting 39%. No. Shooting 36.7. And some people will say, well, Drapes, they just missed shots. Well, they missed shots because Dallas – Bog things up in the paint, man. Like De'Aaron couldn't get by guys, and then when he did, he had Derek Lively in a seven-eight wingspan waiting for him at the rim. I feel like we need more bucket getters on our team. Hundred percent. I mean, I think, and I was getting ready to say about the Keegan situation. That is the maturation. You know, one of the things I continue to keep on talking about is De'Aaron making people better. Right. You know, and you can only do one thing I realized, Drapes, you can only do it to a certain extent. You can't do it all by yourself. Right. And totally agree, man. They need some bucket getters, some shot creators, people who make pass people open, not wait until you are open. Right. Yes. A hundred percent. Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy. Exactly. <laughs> hey, Brock. Brock does that. Right. He leads them. You know, you got to be there. I'm going to hit you there. Get there. Uh, my third and final Drapes take. DeMontis Sabonis nearly had a triple-double, 12 points, 11 rebounds, 9 assists. That stat line looks good. But as you dive deeper, 3 of 10 from the field, and how many times, sure, he missed some shots that maybe he normally makes, Jay, but his decision-making, in my opinion, has to be quicker. It feels like at times he's searching or thinking, well, should I shoot this? What should I do? Just do it, Domas. You know, and it goes back to the pump faking, that too. Like, if they give you that 10-footer, shoot it. I don't care. He only took 10 shots last night. He should have taken 15 to 20 shots, in my opinion. He had those looks, and he just didn't take them. I need to see a better DeMontis Sabonis. His stat line sort of reminded me of game, what was it, two, I think it was, against Golden State and game six against Golden State. He got to be more impactful on the offensive end, I think. Yeah, I agree with you, man. I think it's something we've seen, you know, throughout these times. And a lot of times we notice it when they take the losses, Drapes, of Domas not being greedy. Right. Domas right. not on the same – like when – and I think this kind of goes back to your offensive situation for me is – when the Kings are at their best, the ball's popping. It's yeah. moving. It's, you know, Domas is getting a rock, and he's diamond people open. He's, you know, passing people open. He's finding guys cutting to the basket. And then when they lose, it's kind of like Domas has got the ball, and he's waiting for something waiting to happen. For something. Or right. he's pounding the ball into the ground, and he's waiting for things to happen around him. It's not there. I force it. A turnover normally happens. A bad shot. It doesn't look good either to the eye. Yeah, I'll give you that. It doesn't, and that goes back to – we need bucket getters, guys Oof. that, you know what? The offense, it, it them with, and I've been in practice, how Mike Brown structures the offense. You run the play. If it breaks down, he says, just play basketball. 
Okay. Just like, and a lot of times, I don't think we just play basketball. I feel like we're beholden to the play and, you know, get in your bag. It's okay. And, and, and one quick point, too, about uh, the Kings offense last night. I felt like against those shot blockers, we went too deep into the paint. Yeah. Like we, we, you know, De'Aaron, uh, you know, Keon, whoever it was would try to get into the paint. And then you had Gafford waiting or you had Lively waiting and trying to shoot over those seven, two wingspans, seven, eight wingspans. It's tough. That's why Mike Brown talks about the spray threes, you know, and how you do that, Jay, you could do it at different levels. You could do it as soon as you touch the paint. You could do it when you're in the middle of the paint or you're deep in the paint. I felt we got too deep into the paint, and then by that time, it was too late, especially against that Mavs team, man. Just way too much length right uh, last night for them. All right, yeah. go ahead, Jay. I'll go ahead. Do your thing, nah, man. You Drapes got bills takes. to pay. Yeah, I got I to gotta pay off this sponsor right here. Drapes Take is brought to you by Alsco Uniforms. Discover why it pays to keep clean with Alsco Uniforms. All right, coming up next, we dive into your phone calls as well. What went wrong last night with the Sacramento Kings? How are you feeling about that loss, Sacramento? Jay says it was one of 82. Do you agree with that guy? Hit us up, 916-339-1140. You're listening to The Drive Guys on Sacktown Sports 1140. Subscribe to Sacktown Sports on YouTube and watch the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and The Drive Guys, live Monday through Friday from 6 to 6. Plus, view archive shows and exclusive content. Subscribe at YouTube.com slash Sacktown Sports. Meet Cheryl. Hey. She's on vacation and lost in the moment. Unfortunately, so is her Chase debit card. It's got to be somewhere. Maybe she lost it at Salsa Night. These skirts should have pockets. Or maybe she lost it at Pilates. Three and two and But she's not worried. With the Chase mobile app, she can lock her card till it turns up. Tools that help protect. One bank that puts you in control. Visit chase.com slash checking. Chase, make more of what's yours. Chase mobile app is available for select mobile devices. Message and data reads may apply. J.P. Morgan Chase Bank and a member FDIC. At Progressive, we know how much you love your recreational vehicles, so we decided to record this commercial in an RV. With a family on vacation. Mom, who are these people? Oh, that's Flo and Jamie. They're recording a commercial, sweetie. Don't they do that in the studio? Uh, normally. No. But we wanted to feature a family who bundled their home and RV and saved with Progressive. Um, yeah, it looks like you're all out of chips. Okay, I think we'll just drop you off at the next gas station. Bundle your home and other vehicles with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Not available in all states or situations. National Ping Club Fitter of the Year, Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop, is introducing the straightest, most forgiving Ping driver ever with the new Ping G430 Max 10K driver. A fixed back weight, Ping's largest head profile, and a carbon fly wrap crown help G430 Max 10K launch the ball higher with less spin for consistently longer and straighter results. Schedule your fitting and see for yourself at the Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop, Fulton Avenue, Cap City Freeway, or online at HagenOaks.com. The Arnold Law Firm has seen how an injury can turn anyone's life upside down. Whether it's a slip and fall, a car accident, or any other kind of injury, for almost 50 years, the Arnold Law Firm has been here to help you through the entire process to protect you and your family. If you are ever injured or in an accident, call the Arnold Law Firm. The Arnold Law Firm, providing real justice for you since 1975. Call 916-777-7777. That's 916-777-7777. Toyota's Ready, Set, Go sales event is on. Explore California this season with Toyota's legendary reliability. Take on spring with incredible fuel efficiency and more peace of mind. Right now, get low 3.99% APR financing on 2024 Highlander. Or check out great lease deals on the stylish 2024 Camry, Sporty Corolla, and Dynamic RAV4. Hurry in. Toyota's Ready, Set, Go sales event ends soon. Toyota, let's go places. Offer available through TFS to buyers with premium rated credit. Excludes hybrids and for 124 Country in the Park is back. May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. With Bradley Gilbert. Dustin Lynch. Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Fiddy and Fiber, Dawson Oil Company, and Good Guys Heating and Cooling. Capital Casino has been serving the greater Sacramento area in the same convenient downtown location for over 20 years with plenty of close-by, well-lit parking monitored by security staff and offering the most variety of table games 
in the region in a safe and friendly environment. Best food, best service, and the best action, that's Capital Casino. For more information on tournaments and gaming, check out their website at capital-casino.com. And please remember to gamble responsibly, 1-800-GAMBLER. Hey, guys, do you know your T-Level? Revive Men's Health here in Sacramento is helping you take that first step toward better health and enhanced intimacy with a free testosterone level test, exam, and consultation. Plus, for this month only, qualified patients can kickstart their treatment with a free supply of ED medication. Call Revive Men's Health Sacramento at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Right now, the sewer system is probably the last thing on your mind. And that's okay, because at the Sacramento Area Sewer District, it's our first priority. If you have a sewer problem like a slow drain or a backup, call us first day or night I just can't control my coming to the venue at thunder valley march 30th world one presents the jacksons with sister sledge tickets available now at the thunder valley box office ticketmaster.com and world one presents.com Spring is here. Fresh cut glass. The crack of the bat. And that means opening day of the Major League Baseball season. Join us Thursday at 7 for the Oakland A's home opener. Now it turns. Here it is. And it's a ground ball toward third. Riley has got it. Bobbles it. Picks it up. Throws to the plate. Hit too late. And the A's have won it. It's the A's and Cleveland Guardians. Thursday at 7 in the season opener on Sacktown Sports. Your home for Kings basketball for over 25 seasons. Sacktown Sports. Oh, I mean, I think they were they were more physical than us tonight. Um, they got to lose balls, um, which allowed them to get out in transition. They got a lot of easy buckets, and then uh, we just weren't able to get stops at the end of the day either. But uh, we have to be better on the offensive end as well. That's our guy, De'Aaron Fox, after last night's beatdown at the hands of the Dallas Mavericks. Here's the thing I love about De'Aaron Fox, Jay. And sometimes, you know, I'm like, ah, he got to be fiery. Like, but De'Aaron is going to be De'Aaron no matter what. After a win, after a loss, he going to keep it all in perspective. And meanwhile, me, I'm leaving early. <laughs> I'm crying on the way home. I'm mad at Starbucks for the bad coffee today. Like, a King's Law sort of sends me into a tailspin. De'Aaron keeps it all in perspective. And even after last night, he did say, we got to be better. And this goes to your point earlier. And it's something I've been saying all season. Their goals are still right there. Like, they still are attainable. Yeah. You win on Friday, everything's good. We yep. good. We got the tiebreaker with them. We're ahead of them in the standings. And so, while I'm upset about last night, while – Especially because it's on national TV, mind you. Now that's the and, one. And that that's yeah. the one. Mm, and, 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 and that's the one. And, and I, we'll get to the calls coming up here in a second. Nine one six three three nine eleven forty. This is the thing that frustrates me about this season, Jay. Because we talk about, oh, we want Domas to get some national love. How come they always talking about the Lakers? Even at halftime of yesterday's game, I was told. The subject was on the Sacramento Kings, even though we were trailing. They were talking about us. But then we lay an egg like that. Yeah. And what, what's the topic today? The Dallas Mavericks. Mm. Are they for real? If we win that game yesterday, then the talk is about us. So we got – we it's right there for us, and we keep dropping the ball, whether it's the national uh, acceptance, the love, the standings, whatever it is, we keep letting this slip through our fingers, Jay. Yeah, I agree with you, man. And let me say this is the national being on national television and being, you know, the late game for everybody to watch is definitely huge. And I don't want to mix that up. That's not in the same bag as me saying it's one of 82. Okay. okay. The other part, look, to the point, like I was almost embarrassed to text Greg Anthony today because I want to get him on. And I was like, I'm not texting Greg. We lost by 40. <laughs> 
Well, a four piece. I'm talking about two twenty piece McNuggets. Yeah. I'm not texting Greg Anthony, and that was with no sauce because they they gave it to us dry, right, no sauce. Right? Yeah, like you, come hey, on, bro. You know what those nuggets were? <laughs> they were the ones at the end of the night. You come in, you order at like eleven thirty. Right, exactly. <laughs> they like, damn, we ain't cooking no new nuggets. You getting these old ones that's been sitting there for two hours? That's exactly what it was. The grease ain't even <laughs> right, bro. I'm I with you, man. And so I was like, nah, I'm gonna ease off, Greg. Maybe I text him Thursday to give us a preview of Friday. Friday, but I definitely want to make sure I separate that because I think that's a big eye. That, that's huge, Drapes. We can't continue to ask for respect right. when we're going out there and laying eggs. laying eggs. We can't go out there and ask for it. And this is a conversation I want to get into. And it's something that I, I asked you guys a little bit yesterday, which is a two pronged situation. If the Kings finish six or above, this means nothing, right? right exactly. Really doesn't. Yep. The second part, too, I want to discuss is. I asked about Malik Monk. I'm just saying. Mm. I'm really hunting for Malik to be the sixth man, and that's why I keep bringing it up. But when you guys got when you got guys like Tim Hardaway Jr. who comes into Sacramento, I think he had 18, and it was like a solid 18. Like, there was a couple buckets oh, in the third quarter. Yeah, 22. 22. Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, 22. 22. I just thought about the second bucket. 22, because I looked up, he had 18. I'm looking at the board in my mind. He yeah. had that three, and I was like, oh, that's yeah. icy. You can't continue to ask to be to be respected, right? And you don't go out and earn your respect, right? Losing by forty, where people turn the channel, like yeah. it was over with. People here after the third quarter were pretty much going out. The Kings waved the white flag with five minutes to go. They emptied the bench. Yep. Five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. It was over before the fourth quarter almost started. Yeah. They gave one final push, one but final push, yeah. you can't continue to be like, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. And then when people look at you, you don't you deliver. Don't deliver. It's tough. That, that's tough. And, and that's sort of how it felt last night. You know, we had Whitey on yesterday. Shout out to him. He'll be back tomorrow. But, you know, the chant was supposed to be coaches got it wrong. Mm. You know, national TV. Let's show them. DeMontis Sabonis. And we laid an egg last night. And, you know, I'm looking at the text line, 916-339-1140 from the 209. Kings pissed me off last night. They looked like they were tired and looked just outplayed. We look like hot loss. How do you show up to a game like that? We need to protect our home court. I still love my Kings, and I will be there Friday. We need that win. And I think that's what's so upsetting about it too, Jay. It's if you lose on the road, but you're at home, the magnitude of the game, the national television, you've been playing good basketball. This is a team that's right there tied with you in the standings. It just it doesn't sit right with me. Yeah. They have a chance to atone True. on Friday and make up for it. But over these next 48 hours, they got to sit on this, Jay. Ah. They, they got to stew on this. Yeah. They can't. I can't be the only one upset. I can't like. This is the time where if, if I'm Foxy, if I'm Malik, if I'm Domas, these next two practices, dude, they got to be some of your best of the season. You got to be locked in yeah. fully. And so I think they're off today. Guys will go in. Yeah, they are. Yeah, because they had the back-to-back. -back. Guys will get some shots up, I'm sure. But tomorrow and come Friday, they got to be locked in. You know, but I think Drapes and it, you know, I don't, I don't want to talk down on the situation because I don't want to flambaste them, even though they did get smoked <laughs> last night, rotisserie style, after they lose. But this is something I've been saying all season, and I think a lot of Kings fans have. Why does it take this to happen for this team to be fired up? And I'm not, to me, I'm saying that's what it feels like on the outside looking in. Mm -hmm. This team doesn't approach games to me, to a lot of Kings fans as meaningful game sometime and when you have you you're down by five at halftime and right. then all of a sudden you're getting blown out by 40 almost right you know and pretty much it was again over after the third quarter i just can't understand how some of this team doesn't seem to get up on these type of stages and that's why you say you can't be, I can't be, you know, Will, who's I get guaranteed who's getting ready to jump on the phone yeah. line and say, Jay, you crazy. This ain't one of 82. <laughs> like, we can't be the people that's fired up for that team. Yeah. And it's a hard, you know, discussion to have because I know those guys want to play. Right. I know those guys didn't come into the game last night trying to get blown out by 40. 
right? But there is a fine line of how much is too much to accept anymore? Like, I'm not accepting the fact that I'm getting ready to play Dallas on a back. It could be on four back-to-backs to back-to-back, right. quadruple. I'm still not getting blown out by four. Right, you're not getting blown and out. And that's the toughest part, Drapes, and that's why I respect what you're saying is like, look, man, I'm fired up. And I think that's what some of the people around here in Sacramento and Kings fans are like, I don't need you to go to the podium and be like, we got out physical. I don't need you <laughs> to talk to the to a reporter or your friend yeah. or we see something from a tech or a tweet from a reporter that says, you know what, look, man, I just didn't get it done. Nah. Oh, we saw we know that. That's it. <laughs> right. If we, there's <laughs> any point in time, Drapes, during a season to turn it up a notch one time, right? To go Bobby Knight without the choke out. You know what yep. I mean? To go John Cheney, Temple. Yes. Like last night, the Wizards. There was a time, and there I've said this a hundred times, all due respect to Mike Brown and the Vans he rocking. Shots out to you. Hopefully he gets an endorsement because yep. the Kings should be. I don't know why they're not, they not hunting Vans right, down, which is down. a California company. <laughs> yep. But, man, I'd have been out my shoes. Drapes, if I'm Mike Brown, dude, I'm sliding on the Kings logo. I'm getting thrown <laughs> out the five right. minutes after halftime. Right. After I know you just went in there, had a conversation with your team. We you gotta be better. Like we gotta be fired up. We gotta go at them dudes. And you, you come out and get smoked like that, mm. man. I'm I'm leaving the sideline drapes, and I'm walking up, and I'm sitting in row section 108, <laughs> row C, <laughs> seat six, and I'm just like y'all do y'all it, do it. right, right. Right. And, and and here's the thing, and this is something we've talked about. We'll get to the calls coming up here in a minute, 916-339-1140. Sometimes when you don't have it, you got to manufacture it yes. sometimes. Whether it's throwing a clipboard, getting kicked out, a, a player getting a technical, something, something, a hard foul, pick a fight out there. I don't know. Anything. But, you know, get, Luca drives, whack him on the arms. Something. Show me a post when you're getting your butt kicked. Yeah. And I think that's what's so upsetting. All right, coming up in just a minute, Jay, we're going to jump on the phone lines, 916-339-1140. Will's out there. AC's out there. We'll get to you guys in a minute. Jay says it's one of 82. I know it was national TV, he says, but they have a chance to right the ship on Friday. Do you agree? We're bouncing back on the drive, guys, here on Sacktown Sports, 1140. Power Business Technology is proud to be 100% independent, locally owned, and managed Toshiba Copier Dealer. Local ownership cuts out the red tape, allowing ourselves to never be too busy to personally answer the call when our clients need us. Recognized for excellence in service execution, training, and customer service, we're proud to be named a 2022 Toshiba ProMasters Elite Dealer. Contact us today for all of your business printing needs at 844-POWER-BC. That's 844-769-3729 or visit us at powercopiers.com. National Ping Club Fitter of the Year, Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop, is introducing the straightest, most forgiving Ping driver ever with the new Ping G430 Max 10K driver. A fixed back weight, Ping's largest head profile, and a carbon fly wrap crown help G430 Max 10K launch the ball higher with less spin for consistently longer and straighter results. Schedule your fitting and see for yourself at the Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop. Fulton Avenue to Cap City Freeway or online at HaganOaks.com. Discover your dream home at Subcontractors United, your source for all home improvement needs. A talented team of home services experts is ready to make your projects a breeze. No more endless internet searches. Find your contractors in one place. Enjoy stress-free service absolutely free with no hidden costs and no accounts to set up. Transform your living space into something extraordinary. Visit Subcontractors United today and experience the joy of hassle-free home improvement. Dream big at subcontractorsunited.com. Looking for the ultimate sports bar experience in Sacramento? We'll look no further. Fieldhouse American Sports Pub, family owned and operated, serving up mouth-watering food that'll keep you coming back for more. Voted as the number one sports bar in Sacramento, your go-to spot for catching all the big games. Swing by their convenient location at 1310 Fulton Avenue or order online for pickup or delivery. Don't miss out on the action. Fieldhouse American Sports Pub, where every game is a winning experience. It's Coach Doug Christie here to remind you, if you want a deal that's a slam dunk, go see the winning team at Folsom Lake Ford. Folsom Lake Ford is your truck headquarters with all your American-made favorites, like America's best-selling F-Series, 
F-150s, and Super Duties, or spacious new explorers and expeditions, plus a huge selection of Broncos and Bronco sports, all in stock now at Folsom Lake Ford, right here in Sacramento. You can buy any new Ford with zero down on approved credit, save big with low interest finance rates, and Folsom Lake Ford always pays top dollar for your trade. Check out the huge selection of inventory online at FolsomLakeFord.com or stop by the dealership to see their most recent arrivals. Looking for something special? Give them a call and tell them Doug Christie sent you. They'll help you out. Hurry to Folsom Lake Ford in the Folsom Auto Mall, your trusted dealer, my trusted dealer for over 35 years and counting. Dr. Ken Halachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Art Support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line is that the Good Feet Art Support can be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. I'm Craig Ashton of the Injury Law Firm of Ashton and Price. Whether you've been injured on a bicycle, as a pedestrian, in a slip and fall, auto, Uber, Lyft, or big rig accident, you need Ashton and Price in your corner. When you call Ashton and Price, there's no chat bot telling you to hit three for accounting. You're greeted by a real live person who will immediately transfer you to an experienced attorney. The consultation's free, and there's never a fee until you win. Remember, for the best advice, don't think twice. Call Ashton and Price. Kevin Lewis of National Garage Door. Whether you need to repair a broken spring, install a new opener, or buy a quality Rainer door, National Garage Door is here for you. Call us today to see how we can transform your house with a new garage door. 638-4554 National Garage Door. Welcome to the March Mania sales event at Kia of Vacaville, Northern California's premier destination for automotive excellence. Get ready for an exhilarating showcase of our 2024 vehicle lineup, where innovation meets the road and customer satisfaction reigns supreme. Step into the future with the all-new Kia Sportage, where cutting-edge design harmonizes with dynamic performance. Explore the outstanding fuel efficiency of the Kia Nero, a hybrid marvel that redefines eco-friendly driving. Experience the unparalleled luxury and versatility of the Kia Telluride, setting new standards for sophistication and practicality. Don't miss out on our impressive selection of eco-friendly Kia hybrid options, tailored for drivers who demand efficiency without compromising on style. And for those seeking the EV9, Kia of Vacaville has it ready for delivery or in stock. Visit us today during March Mania and discover why Kia of Vacaville is the ultimate destination for automotive excellence. Model availability and features may vary. Please visit Kia of Vacaville for more information. last night by Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks, 132 to 96. Coming up at the top of the hour, I want to hear from you Kings fans. How are you coping, not only with this loss, but with this season? Like, what do you do to get your mind off of something like what happened last night? Do you hit the gym? Do you go uh, to the grocery store? Do you barbecue? Do you hang out with friends? Because I'm at a loss right now. After that game, I just had to go home and stew on it, on it by myself. I didn't golf this morning. I didn't hit the gym. I just stayed at home by myself. So I'm in my feelings right now. I had a therapy session. I mean, I'm just in my feel. Like, what do you do to cope with the Sacramento Kings who have just been on an up and down roller coaster? As soon as you think that this team has turned the corner, they uh, 
pull the wool out of our uh, out of uh, under us, the carpet under our feet, whatever it is that they, they let us down again. And, and that happened last night, one thirty two to ninety six. Drapes and Jay here. Let's get to the phone lines. Will is on line one. Will, thanks for holding, man. What do you think about last night? One of eighty two. Where do we go from here, bro? You know, y'all make a brother wait a long time. Hey, hey, man, that's seven minutes, I Will. That's seven minutes of real time, minutes. man. Okay, <laughs> I'm fired up. I'm drapes now. <laughs> Jay, I'm not going to bring up his one of 82, man. You know what? You know what, man? Uh, 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 drapes. Yeah. It is so, it's so embarrassing, man. You don't even want to talk about it. I mean, you know, um, you know what, though? The Wizards have won three in a row. But uh, <laughs> this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing, man. I mean, we know. I mean, how in the hell that you don't know the Dallas Mavericks? We beat them twice. We played them over the last couple of years, you know, 20 times. You know what they do, okay? Everybody know what they do. Luca going to shoot fadeaways. You know, you, you can't just put your hand up and stop Luca. He's 6'8". You got to guard Luca. You know, and then Kyrie going to do his thing. But the thing is, man, we don't have people who's committed to defense. Tell me one guy except for Keon Ellis who's committed to – who gets pissed off if he gets beat. Who, who You can see it in his face. He don't want to He don't want to get beat. But the other guys, they just trot back down the court. It's like they're not angry that they're getting busted by 30. You know, it, it, it is so embarrassing. Last night, the Warriors was playing um, – Miami. Heat. Yeah. And Miami had control of that game. Now this is just a little sample. It's not. It's not the main thing. They had control of that game, but Draymond, you know, crazy Draymond. <laughs> oh yeah. He he grabbed little Patty Mills by the neck, man. <laughs> I saw that. You know, I saw that. Threw him down. See, we don't have guys with guts enough to to, to make a hard foul. You hey, when Luca's going like that, you got man, you got to knock him down. You ain't trying to hurt nobody. But you can't just let the guy just be free flowing, free rolling, just throwing up shots. Him and Kyrie, and then and then uh, Domas, man, Domas, he let himself get trapped under the basket so many times, and he gets his off upside the head, and he can't get rid of the ball, and he still does it over and over and over and over again. I I don't, I, 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 I don't know, man. Um, you know what? I Drake, I think we're gonna end up in the play in, man. You know, uh. all, I've been. T- I've been trying. I've been trying to hold on, keep the faith. But then it, it, it's, it's about Coach Brown too, man. I don't want to hear no more post game comments about spray the ball and all that BS, man. Look, <laughs> play defense, spray the ball. All he ever talk about is offense, spray the ball. That's the dumbest. That's the dumbest uh, comment or or, or 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 you know metaphor I ever heard in my life. Well, we got to spray the ball. He said it about ten times, man. I'm a Jay Dre. I'm upset. Man. I, I feel it, Will. I've, I've, let me I'm ask hurt. you, Will. I, I'm real quick, yeah. Will, because we're going to do this next segment. Segment, but since you're on now, how do you cope with this, man? What, what's your outlet for something like this? You go golfing. You 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 got go boxing. You go to the gym. What do you do, man, to release well, that I'm frustration? Because I don't know what to do right now. I go to 24 hours every morning, man. I go to 24 okay, hours four right. days, five days a week. But but the last thing, look, man. Like you guys said, like Jay said, Coach Brown got to pull out the 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 um, the Cheney or the, the the Bobby Knight or my man with uh, San Antonio San Antonio the Spurs. Popovich, yeah. Put anybody down. He ain't got to throw no down. chair across the court or anything, but no, 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 yeah. Don't throw a chair. Don't throw a chair. But Fox, all you guys shooting them threes ain't playing no defense. You know, sit them all down. I don't care. We lose by 50. I'm making my point, man. All right, Will. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. And, man. Hey, and Will, hey he, Will coming in spitting that fire. And he's, you know what, Jay? This is what I love, though. He's frustrated. He's angry. Yeah. I get it. We got the third toughest schedule the rest of the way. Ten games left. You mentioned it last segment. If we make the top six, it's all gravy. But if we got to be in the play-in, oof, I – Nervous. It's, it's nervous, right? Frustration. A one game against mm. Durant and those guys, because that's Oof. what it's looking like. Yeah. A one game against LeBron and them. I don't know if I if I want that, bro. I don't. I, 
you know what, we can beat them, yes. But I don't want it to be chance to one game. And then even if you lose that game, you might have to face Steph Curry and Golden State mm. for a one game. Yeah. Like, we're making it too hard on ourselves, man. I, I, I w- I'm i with you, man. I completely agree. And I, I'm with Will. I, You know, there are opportunities that this team has unfortunately let slip through their hands too many times. And Drapes, one of the things that, you know, from the great – uh, poet sugar free yeah. stay ready so you don't have to get, get ready, ready. <laughs> if the kings have had too many opportunities and i'm just hoping you know to cry the, the boy who cried wolf hopefully mm. they get another opportunity right and the great part is we we can see one which is friday friday and that's that's the part where and that's why i say you know i i hear will say jay it ain't just one of 82 that's kind of my basis of it is like I can see the opportunity, Drapes, but I definitely understand where you and Will coming hey, from. Friday is a must win. Oh, it like, is. Uh, now uh, it is. Now we're talking must win. All right, we got much more from you guys out there. 916-339-1140. When we come back, how are you guys coping with this up and down Sacramento King season? How are you coping with last night's loss? Maybe you hit the gym. Maybe you went to the grocery store. You went for a run, a bike, or played golf. I want to hear from you. We'll get back to the phone lines here. It's the Drive Guys on Sacktown Sports, 1140. Trying to find out where to catch your favorite team's games? Are you a fan of the Kings, Niners, and the NFL? Well, Sacktown Sports has you covered. Touchdown! Catch all your Kings, Niners, and NFL games all year long on Sacktown Sports and SacktownSports.com. Financial Group is not a law firm. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. We've helped over 30,000 families out of financial hardship by getting them out of bad timeshares. If your timeshare agreement goes on forever, if you were told timeshares are a great investment or your maintenance fees will never go up, you have questions, we have the answer. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawontwait.com. Hey, it's Carmichael Dave inviting you to make the switch to electric this spring and save big with American Energy. Stay ahead of those spiking energy bills this summer with up to nine grand in rebates on a new ultra high efficiency comfort system. American Energy is providing huge rebates from SMUD as well as spring specials by installing one of many incredibly efficient AC options available to you right now. Get rid of those fluctuating gas bills in the winter and switch to year round all electric with American Energy. Let them perform a free in-home energy efficiency analysis and see where they can help you save for the warmer months ahead. These guys are the best. Been serving the greater Sacramento area since 1981. A-plus from the Better Business Bureau. Learn more by calling 916-520-9990. That's 916-520-9990. Call 916-520-9990. Beachhead Deli on 711 K Street is now your place to go in downtown Sacramento prior to all the games, concerts, and events. Conveniently located just across the street from the arena, Beach Hut Deli features the finest gourmet sandwiches and craft beverages anywhere. Beach Hut Deli at 711 K Street is also your premier lunch destination seven days a week. Come by and say hi to new owner Brad Wakai. He's so excited to take care of all your taste bud needs. That's Beach Hut Deli at 711 K Street in Sacramento. Nighttime is the right time to track your golf ball's flight time at the Hagen Oaks Top Tracer Driving Range. 
It's more relaxed at night with people enjoying the top tracer technology where you can play Pebble Beach at Hagen Oaks. You can compete against your friends in a variety of games or just practice with the top tracer television technology. There's food when you're hungry from the hangout food truck or enjoy a craft beer on the brand new patio with relaxed seating. And don't forget the summer long free concert schedule. It's the Hagen Oaks Driving Range nightly until midnight, Fulton Avenue at Cap City Freeway. It's time to trade in and trade up at Northern California's number one Honda dealer, Stockton Honda. Whether you're shopping new or pre-owned, Stockton Honda has a selection and savings. Plus, get top dollar for your trade. Come in today or go to StocktonHonda.com. It's all a click away. Anytime, anywhere, it's all here. StocktonHonda.com. KHTK AM Sacramento, KYMX HD2 Sacramento. Take it on the local level. Live and local, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios. Satow Sports. The only station in Sacramento giving you local sports coverage from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Sacktown Sports. Hour two of the drive guys here with Drapes and Jay on Sacktown Sports. 1140 still talking about that loss last night. 132-96. I'm still in a mood. I haven't figured out a way how to cope with it. Really, the whole season because it's up and down. We're on the roller coaster. I don't know if is it therapy I got to take. Is it uh, a cooking class? Like, what's my outlet, Jay? Because I have not figured it out, big fella. I couldn't golf today. It's funny. The uh, family is back in Boston, and my son went to one of those rage rooms. Oh, you yeah. Ever heard of that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a few out here. Are there? Okay, yeah. That's Maybe crazy. I had to send it your way. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, because that's how I feel right now, man. My coffee is bland. It's like, blah. Somebody's like, Starbucks is always bad coffee. You should try Pete's. I'm a Starbucks dude, but this one just didn't hit the spot. And so hit us up, 916-339-1140. How are you coping with this season? How are you coping with last night's loss? Let's get to AC on line two, Jay. AC, you're on with Drapes and Jay. What do you got, man? Hey, first of all, I'd like to disagree with that previous caller. I'm the one that waited on the phone for 35 minutes. You did wait a long time, AC. You did. I I will say that. So, uh, so, so Draper, I'm with you. Um, that game was the kind of game that makes you wish you were still a Boston Celtics fan, I imagine. <laughs> I tell you what, if we were in Boston, Sports Talk Radio after that Woo! game last night, please. <laughs> we we taking it easy right now. We taking yeah. it easy right now, EC. Right. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna agree with with your partner there who's awesome. We that is one in one in one in eighty two, but the reason I'm saying that is I'm an optimist. And we have the Mavericks right where we want them. They think they're going to come in Friday and it's going to be a cakewalk. And I guarantee you the Kings will be geared up for that game. I guarantee it. I, I predict a win on Friday. AC, I like that, man. I, I, I like the positivity. Appreciate that. And, and AC is doing that voodoo mind tricks. Yep. He's like, yeah, we lost last night, but we got them right where they, <laughs> <laughs> they feel confident. And wait till they come into the G1C on Friday. We got something waiting for them. On the text line, Jay, how about this one? 916, I attended Zumba classes to dance the pain away. I have class tonight at 630. Come join me. That's James X. Man, he shouts out I, to James. Yeah, he in the Zumba class. Have you ever jumped in a Zumba? I haven't. No, I have not. Okay. Have not. okay. What is Zumba? What is that? I, if I knew, I'd tell right. you, but I'm not 100%. <laughs> I know it's got something, to, you know, uh, calisthenics work, you know, dancing, I dancing, believe. Something. Yes, dancing. I think. Yeah, this used but to I'm be guessing. A, some trainer, Sean T. Used oh, to yeah, I remember Sean remember T. Remember Sean T? Mm -hmm. I used to do stuff like that with him. Here's the best uh, text of the day, though, 831. The way I cope is I go to Mercedes Benz of Stockton <laughs> and purchase that new EV. That's what I, that's, hey, that's you big cope. money, dude. You know, shopping therapy, right, bro? That's I think we need. all do that. <laughs> Yes. Are you a, do you, I mean, I know you get down, but are you a, a retail therapy guy? Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, I am too. Man. And, and most of my purchases are sneakers. Me too. Like yeah. I, I, I don't need them. Yeah. But go buy two or three pair or something I like know. that. Uh, I know. Right. Yeah, unfortunately it's a habit. It's an addict. It is an addiction to a certain extent for me, man, where it's like, yeah, I, I've graduated from the 250 joints. Yeah. You know, down because a little bit. Uh, 
quite frankly, Drapes, we came around in the golden era of tennis shoes. Yeah. And this is a yeah. conversation. We're definitely going to have this down in the summertime yes. when that's yes. going on, where, you know, shoes now, Nike's living off retros. Living no off one's retros. buying new Nikes. They're right. buying all retro all stuff. Retros. So, yeah. yeah, man, I'm with you. Retail therapy, shots out to that, too. Yeah, the sneaker game is ridiculous right now. It's too saturated, too, right now. Very much so. It's way too saturated. So. And so, yeah, I do some retail therapy. What about everybody else out there? What ways do you cope with this Sacramento King season? Should we go to TC? Are we going to check it? Let's check it with TC. TC, my guy, you're on with Drapes and Jay. What's up, baby? Man, check it, check it out. Look, hey, when I got, hey, can y- y'all got me, right? Yeah, I got you. Let's go. Okay, we got first and foremost, Drake, Jay, what's up with my bros, man? Check it out. Hey, I just keep it, keep it real simple. I got two parts from this situation. Hey, I, man, I'm with my guy, Will, when we was talking about Mike Brown. We don't want to hear about the spray threes. I call on, I call in all the time and talk about the spray threes, bro. You got to figure something else out when that's not falling, Mike. Seriously, it seems like, Mike, you either, we either play a lockdown defense or you want everybody to touch the paint just to spray it out. What about touching the paint to get a floater? What about touching the paint to dominate in the paint? That way we can get some inside the paint points, Mike. We got to work on that. As far as the fans and as far as De'Aaron, listen, man, y'all kick back on De'Aaron and Roche, man. We love both of them, man. Listen, stay back on them. But also on the fan side, Listen, bro, we can't be caring more than y'all. You get me? It seemed like the fans, we coming on here super passionate, super this and that. Like, man, this is what we need to change. But when you ask the team, it seemed like the team is like, you know what, man? We don't care, man. We ain't even really tripping on this situation. Like, nah, bro, listen, I have some passion about this place. Y'all asking, listen, y'all asking callers what we need to do to cope. What's the team doing, man? What's y'all doing to cope, man? To win, seriously. We talking about going to buy Benzes, buying retro Jordans, <laughs> going over here to buy a burger, kicking it, doing yoga. Come on, man. That's all I got. TC, that's the best call. Best call of the day. I I see, but that's what I'm saying. JTC right there, he hit it right fired on the head. Up, baby. He, he is fired up. Will's fired up. I don't want to hear it. I know one of 82, Jay. I'm not with that, bro. I'm not with that. I, I got you, man. It, one of 82? All right. You got one more chance to say that on Friday. Okay. If you say one of 82 on Monday, yeah. it, it, I'm, I'm getting, the, I'm you, getting, getting it, bro. the smoke. I'm <laughs> like, getting smoke. This is the biggest game of the year. Last uh, three or four or five, how many years has been? We have to win that to avoid the play. If we lose that game, mm-hmm. I think it's playing, man. I, I'm with you, but I, I can, you know I'm always devil's advocate with certain things. Mm. Let's say they, just as you talked about, let's say they have a great game, play it down down a stretch, and you know it's I don't want to speak short. into an existence. Yeah, something happens yeah. and you you lose by one or two. You okay with that? I'm not. I'm, I'm asking. Gonna, I would have been okay last night with that. Okay, but not, not Friday. Friday not. No matter what, not. anything that's short of a win, you're not okay. Because Jay, they just beat our butt. Last night. Yeah. Now, if we would have came up just short and then we lose again on Friday in the same fashion, Mm -hmm. ah, okay. But they embarrassed you on your home floor on national TV. Yeah. Like this, we need the best version of the Sacramento Kings come Friday. That's what I'm talking about. Like Dallas is a good team. This isn't the same Dallas team from before the trade deadline. They're going to bring it. We need to match their level. And I didn't think we did that last night, man. Yeah. you know, right from the gate, you could see Dallas was out there to play ball. Yes. They they came to play right. ball. And you've seen it. it. It was funny because after we got off the air yesterday, I heard Henry Turner, the high flyer who was on the game night, yeah. talking about he spoke with Jason Kidd. had yeah. an opportunity to speak with him prior to the game and, and prior to the show. And he said he was telling Jason, like, yeah, we need this one. You know, the Kings need this yeah. one. And he said, Jay Kidd told him no. We need Ooh. this one. You guys are okay. Mm. If you beat us, it's what you're supposed to do. We're coming to you yeah. for two games, national game. You got. We expect you guys to be up. I challenge my team and to let them know we have to go win this one tonight. And mm. it stuck with me because Drapes says I was sitting here. I'm looking how it unfolds. First quarter, I was like, okay, cool. I see it. Kings doing their thing. Second quarter, it kind of started to turn. 
And then the third quarter, it was like, yeah, yeah. I think he went back into that locker right. room and said a TC or a Will or a Draper or a J <laughs> speech, what we've been asking for the Kings. And I'm not saying Coach Brown or Jordy or DC or Triano. None of them guys said this because I don't know. I wasn't in there. But it showed. Like, J. Kidd went in there and was like, nah, cool first half. Yeah, we're up. Nah, we need yes. this tonight. Yes. Go get it for me. And yeah. I, I think it really showed. And, and that's something we talked about uh, on our pre-show call. It's like the Mavs really needed that one. Yes. They were the team that was in danger of losing the season series with the loss last night. The Kings sort of was playing a little bit with house money, and it felt like it too. Like It felt like Dallas was the team with their backs up against desperate. the wall. Desperate, mm. exactly. Now you got two desperate teams come Friday. I want to see what our boys bring on Friday. Like, this is a statement game, Jay. Mm. You know, because, and, and and you asked me earlier, if they lose close one, nah, I don't want to even think about that. But from a psychological, I need to see some fight, man. I need to see diving for loose balls. I need to see a no layup rule. I need to see, like, I'm watching that game. I'm sitting in my normal broadcast seat. I'm watching Lucas smiling, mm, joking with the officials. Wow. He was playing mind games yeah. out there. It was a walk in the park for that dude. And we, that's the problem, man. This Sacramento, bro. When teams come here, they should know it's going to be hell to pay. During our golden years, yeah, it was the toughest was, place in the league sure. to play. Yeah, It's not like that anymore. And it's not on the fans to bring that. It's on the players because the fans are doing their part. It's on the players to make this the toughest place to play in the league. And right now, they're not doing that. It's a great point. You said this to me you know, prior, and I felt this. We were ready last night yes. to explode right there was a couple three-pointers that were missed i remember the keegan three-pointer in the corner there were a few opportunities and times where you could see the fans were anxious they were sitting on their hands yeah and they were waiting for an eruption yep. or a quick run and it just went the opposite and again you could just go back to that third quarter run that the dallas mavs had on and i go back to the the back-to-back the -back threes from Kyrie. then you add the tim hardaway Three pointer and a step in yep. on the two from the yeah. you know the pump faking and, and dribble in, and that was like a quick tw what was that be uh, eleven points yep. and it just it was like oh man they went from you know a close game to uh oh wait a minute this is about to look like twenty in a minute yeah and you know coach called a timeout and I just I, I'm with you drapes I didn't pay attention to Luca as much and I'm glad you said that. But I did think there were opportunities for the Kings to come back at the Mavs, and they mm -hmm. just didn't pick up the phone. They, they didn't answer the call. They man. didn't answer the call. They did not answer the bell yeah. from a boxing uh, term. We'll get back to the phone lines. I see you holding out there, Rich. I'll get to you in a minute. 916-339-1140. How are you coping with this King season and the loss last night? Maybe you're going for a long walk. Maybe you're throwing the ball with your dog. Maybe you're at the gym. We want to hear from you. Jay, Jay and I will tell you how we're coping with this Kings loss coming up next here on The Drive Guys, Sacktown Sports, 1140. The Oakland A's open the 2024 season at home Thursday against the Cleveland Guardians. It swung on and missed. That's the way this ball game is. First pitch at 7 on Sacktown Sports. <laughs> What's up? We're talking to Chad Hoblet of Hoblet Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. Chad, what's going on for Dodge Power Shot Days? A special sale on the very last of the new 2023 Dodge Charger and Challengers with savings up to 12000 off MSRP. That means you can save up to 33% on some classic American muscle, starting as low as $24,520. Don't miss your chance to own a piece of history with the very last of the V8 Scat Packs. Wow, up to 33% off? Hey, that seems impossible. We do things a little different here at Hoblet. We're here to help you find the vehicle you need at the best possible price. That's why we don't have a bunch of dealer markups, surprise add-ons, or fees. At Hoblet, you get the small town experience with the big city savings and selection. There's no better time to take advantage of this savings at Hoblet. See their full selection at hobletdodge.com. Unbeatable prices, unbeatable selection. Nobody beats Hoblet, period. 12,000 total net savings after 6330 factory rebates and 5580 dealer discounts. Rebates may include 500 first responder bonus cash. Must be current member of eligible first responder association and California resident. 20th net savings, see dealer for details.
Drive Guys, Sacktown Sports, 1140. Kings fall hard last night to the Dallas Mavericks at the crib at that, at home at that, 132 to 96. We'll get back to the phone lines in a minute, 916-339-1140. We're asking you, Sacramento Kings fans, how do you cope with last night's loss? How have you coped with this season where you win two games, you lose one, you lose to the Wizards, you beat the Bucks, you lose to Charlotte, you go out there and beat Denver? It has been a roller coaster of a season. AC on the YouTube chat. I see your AC. He says, uh, Costco is the best retail Uh-oh, therapy Kirkland, ever. Baby. Food at snack stations plus stuff you didn't even know you needed. You can get sneakers there, Jay. I know. You can get underwear. I know. You can get pajamas. I know. You can get golf balls. I know. <laughs> Everything you need is at Costco. Everything. That's retail therapy. <laughs> Your daughter says she can live there. <laughs> she says she. She's like, Dad, do they have bathrooms? I'm like, yeah, honey, over in the corner. She's like, we can really live here. <laughs> they got couches out there. Everything. Free, rotisserie chicken. Everything. Whatever you need, Costco <laughs> has it right there. So that's a good way of uh, getting some therapy and coping with what we saw last night from the Sacramento Kings. I see the phone lines lit up. Asking you guys out there, how do you cope? Let's go to Rich on line one. Rich, you're on with Drapes and Jay. What do you got? Hey, Drake, how you doing, buddy? I know I know you're hurting, and I am too. Okay, I've I've been I've been down this road for a lot of years. Okay, I was at the Western Conference Finals with the Lakers and the Kings two weeks ago. I was up in Sacktown. I live in San Diego, right? Okay. I was up in Sacktown two weeks ago. I took my granddaughter to her first Kings game. I was telling her all about light the beam, and they didn't light the beam, as you well know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I want to. You, you're you're looking for some therapy, okay? So yes. I'm in San Diego, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now, Doctor Diego, talking to you, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Should I lay on the couch? Should I put my feet up no, and lay no, on no, the couch? No, 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 no. That's too that's too lazy, man. You gotta get out and get some fresh air, okay? okay? So I'll tell you exactly what I did this morning, okay? About, after watching the game last night, and you know, in living in San Diego, I got the league pass. I watch almost every damn game. And I bleed black and purple, okay? Just so you know where I'm coming from. Mm-hmm. But And I am a native Sacramentan, by the way. <laughs> okay. But, uh, so this morning, I took off about 8, 8.30, and I rode 31 miles out to Ocean Beach. I put some good music in my ears, and I got on my e-bike, and I, I put some miles in. <laughs> After, what what kind of music did you, were you listening to, though? What, what were you listening well, to? Well, you know, I'm I'm a classic rock guy, okay. So I okay. listen to Pandora, B- Buffalo Springfield, and you know, Neil, Neil Young, and you know, Crosby, Still, you know, all that kind of stuff, you know, little mix, okay. But Pandora, I had Pandora on, right? Okay. And <laughs> and it was actually Buffalo Springfield, Pandora, but they do a total different mix. But but I did take a time out on my way down because I knew Katie was going to be on at nine o'clock <laughs> with Carmichael Bay. And I, in fact, I'm, I used to live, last place I lived in Sacramento, I moved out in 2007 from Carmichael, right? Okay. So <laughs> anyway, I used to be rich from Carmichael, but now I'm, I'm Dr. Diego today for you. Okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> <laughs> so, so what I recommend to you living in Sacramento, I don't know. Do you have a bike? Do you have a bicycle? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you have an e-bike? I don't have an e-bike though. I'm old fashioned, baby. Make life a little. No, I know. I, 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 I've had all those old fashioned bikes too. Okay, but I'm, I'm coming up on sixty nine. Okay, so once you hit senior citizen, you can't be so hard on yourself. Okay. <laughs> Got you, Rich. But, Got you. But I'm, I'm still pedaling the whole time. But what I'm saying is that uh, get a nice bike or whatever bike. Get out on that American River Trail. Put some good music in your ears. Get some fresh air. You know, and and if that's not enough, you can do like I did this morning. After riding 31 miles, I went down to the pool because I got a pool two blocks from me, and I swam 32 lengths. Dang. And when I was swimming them laps, I didn't think about the Kings and the loss at all. Oh, so you just forget about it a little bit, go out, yeah. you know, enjoy nature, enjoy the weather, yeah. get some fresh air. I may have yeah, to do I that. Some good, <laughs> I have some good-looking, good, 
good looking life, good looking lifeguards there too. That we're talking to. So, <laughs> Thank you, you Rich. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. I, I'm gonna write that one down because I, I need some fresh air after last night because I, I'm fired up, Jay. Like I said, I'm still sipping on this coffee I because know. I don't have anything else. There's a I, water I cooler you. right here next to me. <laughs> like this is some bad coffee right now. Let me hide the cup. I don't even know if it's a sponsor at a station, but this is uh. Some of the worst Starbucks this, I've had, bro. One of the uh, one of my therapies, besides yeah. retail therapy, is uh, and I always say this: I'm chubby for a reason, man. You know, mm. I like to eat, brother. Me I'm, too. A yeah. good meal yes, changes yeah. my whole vibe. Yeah, you know, sometimes it can make me sleepy, make me happy. You know, uh, delighted, but I like to get a little something to eat too. Get a little grub in. Yeah, huh? even okay. if it's a snack, you know, I'm a snacker. Are you really? I like, yeah, I like to I like to put my fingertips on a chip, something sweet or salty <laughs> or you know, <laughs> something like that. And so that's one of my therapies too, man. And thankfully, um, you know, I've been an athlete for most of my life. And I, I, you know, I'm not 600 pounds. And if you are, hey, by all means, live your yeah, life live well, your life. you know, as yep. long as you're healthy. And so um, yeah, that's kind of one of mine too. Drapes. I like to yeah. sit down and have a good meal, man. I, me too, you man. Know? Me too. And, and I, I'm a snacker also. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm like a pretzel and chip kind oh, of yeah, guy. Man. You know, combination. Like, yeah, a little dude. <laughs> a combination. The pub bro. mix at yes. Costco. Have you had that? I have not had dude, that. Dude, I'm going to buy you one. Really? I'm bringing it to you. Pub mix? Pub mix. What's in there? Ah, oh, man. Pretzels. Uh, I believe. Like this, oh man, they're, what they're is it, like cheese doodles, kind of like a cheese puff. Yeah, I was yeah, kind of thinking like yeah, that. Yeah. They have like this little, uh, kind of have you eaten the uh, Gardettos? Yes, it reminds me of Gardettos. Okay, I'm man. a Gardettos fan, dude. Too. I'm a drink, like I'm a go. And the thing is, they give you like a whole mountain, it's a whole <laughs> bottle worth, brother. Like, <laughs> I'm talking about a 14 ounces type this thing, is huge, okay, and it's okay. like eight bucks, man. 10 All bucks, right, I got you. Oh man! Hey, Compio says Draper dip in the Carmichael Dave's food corner next to you. I didn't even see the food. He got some. Normally, he has a little bit of little stuff. Nutri grain yeah. bars, dude. He's got Flintstone vitamins over yeah, there. He got uh, ibuprofen. Oh, okay, I, I thought I saw some Flintstones, some chewables. <laughs> All right, I, I may have to try one of these Nutri grain bars. Uh, let's get to Curtis online too. Curtis, what's up, man? You're on with Drapes and Jay. Great, Jay. What's going on, fellas? How y'all doing? Good. What's up, baby? What's happening? Hey, not hey, not too bad. It was a war, it was a rough night last night, but look, I got three points to make real quick. All right. So, the first one is the home court. Even in the lean years, we had good home court. So I don't know what's going on with that, but we need to get that back. Once we get that back, it, it, it's going to be a wrap. Uh, second thing is, we may. I know this is going to be unpopular, but we may need to make the play in because of these other teams that are up at the top. They've been in those situations. So they know what it's like not to want to be in that. So that may ha have to harden us a little bit. And then the other thing is, is that the desperation needs to happen before the desperation kicks in. We mm. need to have that killer mentality. And we don't have that yet. But once we get it, we're going to be very, very scary. But with all that said, we still got our destiny in our own hands. We got a chance to make this right. And that's all I got. But. Keep up alive like the bean, baby. All right. Love it. Love it. Great call, Curtis. Uh, you and Jesse Jackson on he the did, song, right? He said, yeah. Keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. He yeah. had the right <laughs> fist up out there, like in Mexico City, you know, uh, Juan Carlos and them. I, and uh, is that one of 82? Is Curtis saying the same thing I'm saying? I mean, yeah. he did start off saying it was a tough night. Yes. Yes. But he, he's remaining optimistic, positive, okay. because he knows, like he said, Everything is still right there for the taking. You win Friday, you're you're right back in sixth place. Right. And so, you know, as salty as I am right now, as we are right now, you still are able to uh, get it back, if you will. Win the season series, get the tiebreaker, move back into six. It's interesting. He brought up the home court uh, situation. I'm looking at the standings right now. How many teams... And the Kings are seventh seed. How many teams in the West alone do you think have a better home court record than the Sacramento Kings? Now, mind you, Jay, this is Sacramento, the Cowbells, the toughest place it used to be to play in the league. How many teams have a better home record than us right now? I got it right here, Jay. I got it. I would say all of them. 
almost. Okay. It's probably better to do it who doesn't have a better record. Okay. Than San Antonio. Oh, you mean I'm thinking out of the top seven. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, no. You're saying throughout the whole Western the Conference. Whole West. Okay, like, got you. Kings rank. Mm, I would say eight. I'm going eight. Eighth. Eighth in the Western Conference when it comes to home records. Nine teams are better. So we're Ooh, tenth in the Western tenth. Conference. Denver, OKC, Minnesota, Clippers, Pelicans, I believe, Mavericks, Phoenix, Lakers and Rockets all have a ho better home record. I thought we I had a better record than the Pelicans. That's why I was like seven out of the eight that. Let me see here. I thought they were. One oh, yeah, short. we got them by a half eight, like one game. Okay. You're right. Yeah, yeah I thought you're, I saw you're, that. you're right about that. 20 and 14, 21 and 14. Got you. So we're ninth. We're ninth. Come that's, on, man. This yeah. Sacramento we're that, talking that's about. That's playing. That's the reason why they're in the playing position that they're in. And no offense to New Orleans. Great city. Great fans. But I've been down to some of those games. Drake's ain't nobody coming to no damn That's Pelicans games, about, man. Bro. That's what I'm talking We're on the same level as the Pelicans. The Smoothie King Center being <laughs> empty, bro. Yeah, how about the same? <laughs> look like an Oakland A's game. Bro, yeah, shoot. Seriously. And I know they're playing better now and the fans are coming there. But this is Sacramento, bro. Yeah. We supposed to have the best home court advantage. And it's not the fans' fault, man. The guys just aren't getting it done. I'm looking at it right now. We're 21 and 14 at home and 21 and 16 on the road. So we almost have an exact same road record as home record. Mm. The road record's been solid. Yeah. I'll take 21 and 16. But that 21 and 14, Jay, should be more like 24 and 10, 26 and 8, or something like that. You yeah, know? I agree, man. I, that That's difficult. And to basically what you're saying is, is everyone who's in front of the Sacramento Kings in the standings has a better home record. Yep. And one thing you you've alluded to a few times already, the Sacramento Kings have set the standard for home cooking. Like yeah. they've always been through it. As Rich said, through the, or Curtis said, through the lean years, it's always been something to come and play here. We just heard Pat Beverly a couple weeks say it on yes. his podcast, right? Yeah. We've heard um, Rajon Rondo yeah. talk about it within the last month. Like, people hated to come here. Yep. They didn't like playing here. They didn't want the cowbells in their ears. They didn't want the loud fans, you know, and, and being on top of them. And the G1C is a little bit different. It'll never feel like Arco. Arco yeah. But you've been here in the times that G1C has been rocking. Like wow. Slamson coming from the roof yes. or, or going up the roof, yeah, I should say. Up, yeah. You know, like not coming down. It's been times where it's like, man, I go back to the Bogdan Bogdanovich game winner over the Lakers. Mm. I believe that was season one or season two at the G1C. And I just remember, man, this feels like Arco. Right. And so with the Kings, that, that's astonishing, Drapes. Yes. Like ninth yes. in the West. At home. That's they, tough, yes, man. That's exactly. tough. That's tough, man. And, and like I said, it's not the fans' fault because the fans, they are ready. They are ready to explode in, out there. But the players, the coaches, they got to give it to them. All right, we'll see if it happens Friday. Coming up next, we'll get back to your phones. Steven, I see you out there. We'll get to you. Hit us up, 916-339-1140. How are you coping the day after a tough, brutal loss to the Dallas Mavericks? More of the drive, guys, next on Sacktown Sports, 1140. Did you miss any part of our live local shows? Don't worry. You never have to miss them again. Check out SacktownSports.com and search our podcast page and play our shows when you want. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and The Drive Guys. Plus, other podcasts like Return of the Empire, Return of the Roar, The Stingers Up Podcast, and Golf to Go with Frank LaRosa. They're all available right now on SacktownSports.com. Are you stressing about your IRS tax problems? Have you received notices from the IRS threatening to garnish your wages, levy your bank accounts, or seize your property? You need an ally. Allies Tax Relief has tax attorneys and enrolled agents that are ready to fight for you. They have saved millions for taxpayers just like you. Allies Tax Relief can help put a stop to IRS collections and most importantly, negotiate your tax debt. Here's Brenda, a happy client of Allies Tax Relief. 
I owe the IRS around $57,000 and they're about to start garnishing my paychecks. I heard a commercial on the radio about Allies Tax Relief, so I thought I'd give them a call. After a day, they were able to at least stop the garnishments. And after a few months of negotiations, I walked away owing the IRS only $301. If you owe the IRS, call Allies Tax Relief right now for your free consultation. Call 800-230-5174. 800-230-5174. That's 800-230-5174. This is Kenny and Jerry from Bell Brothers Plumbing, Heating, and Air. Everyone knows that a group of fish is called a school, but did you know a group of giraffes is called a tower? Or how about a murder of crows, a quiver of cobras, a shadow of jaguars, a shiver of sharks, or a zeal of zebras? Wild, huh? So what do you call a group of Bell Brothers plumbers? They don't fit into any of the traditional plumber stereotypes. They're clean and well-dressed. They're on time and courteous. They're well-trained and friendly. They're exactly the kind of people you'd be comfortable and confident to invite into your home. That's why we proudly call them our family of plumbers. If you need a drain cleared or any other plumbing service, we'll send one of the family right over to help you out. Call Bell Brothers at 916-444-1234, or you can find us online at thenosurpriseguys.com. The no Surprise Guys, Bell Brothers. Dirty Heads. I'm on vacation. Live in concert. Every, every single day. Friday, April 12th, 7.30 p.m., the venue in Thunder Valley. Special guest, The Elevators. On sale at ThunderValleyResort.com. Don't miss Dirty Heads Live. Hey guys, do you know your tea level? Revive Men's Health here in Sacramento is helping you take that first step toward better health and enhanced intimacy with a free testosterone level test, exam, and consultation. Plus, for this month only, qualified patients can kickstart their treatment with a free supply of ED medication. Call Revive Men's Health Sacramento at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Bradley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Fiddy and Fiber, Dawson Oil Company, and Good Guys Heating and Cool. Weather's warming up, spring is here, and so is road trip season. And if you're saying, yeah, sure, I would love to load everything up in my car and hit the road and go on a long road trip, but I don't trust my car. It's not dependable. Well, then go see my friends at El Gro Kia. They'll get you into something dependable and super affordable, like a brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS for $19,988. Yep, at a time when the average new car price is over $48,000, El Gro Kia can get you into a brand new car for less than half of that. This car's loaded with automatic transmission and eight inch touchscreen with rear camera. It's got advanced driver assistance system, so it's got tech and safety. And again, this brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS can be yours for only $19,988. Only at the number one Sacramento Kia dealer, Elk Grove Kia and the Elk Grove Auto Mall and online at elkgrovekia.com. Elk Grove Kia sale price, $20,738. Kia rebate, $750. Net price, $19,988. One at this price, stock number GK9219. Expires March 31st, 2024. The Drive Guys powering your afternoons Monday through Friday on Satown Sports. Drapes of Jay here holding it down on Sacktown Sports 1140. Still talking about the Kings coming up short last night by about what, 34, 36, whatever it was. They didn't just come up short. They came up 36 point beatdown last night by the Dallas Mavericks, who at one point in that second half led by 39. We'll get back to the phone lines in a minute. 916-339-1140 asking you, how do you cope with what's happening this season with the Sacramento Kings? 
Jay said, you know, sometimes he does retail therapy. You know, somebody suggested uh, the American River Walk. Uh, somebody on a 916, that caller that suggested the American River Walk is a great place to go. I would suggest going to Ansel Hoffman Golf Course and look for Effie with Nature Center, wonderful paths to walk. Maybe I'll head out there. Very uh, beautiful nature area as well. Um, I didn't get into golf today. I was supposed to have a golf lesson with my guy Tom Morton over at Hagen Oaks. Had to cancel that. I'm just in an awkward, bad mood right now, Sacramento Nation, because that was a monster game, a massive game. We were geeked up. The crowd was geeked up. The security, the concessions, everybody in the building was geeked up. National TV. Jay, you mentioned Greg Anthony, who was on the call with Michael Grady yep. last night. GA told me that was his first time at a Kings game yes. last night. Yes. So he was looking forward to it. Ah. He was excited. And we laid an egg in front of Greg Anthony. Bro. I know. I mean, it's to, you know, a former Knickerbocker, yes. somebody who, you know, I'm pretty sure he'll be tuned in Saturday when the Kings play the Knicks. Um, or, or is that next Saturday? What? Next Thursday. That's next Thursday. Thursday Excuse Thursday, me. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, you know, the tough part about that is, is we, we continue to ask for, you know, do the respect, the love, the showering, the blessings. And when we have these opportunities and we let them slip through our fingers, it's very difficult. And you just hope, again, that you get an opportunity from a guy like G.A. And, I, you know, G.A. is sharp enough. He's been in the league. He's got a son in the league. Pretty sure he, you know, he knows that there's ebbs and flows of a season. But we also know this, too, Drapes. First impression is everything. Mm. And if that thing would have been rocking in right. Sacramento, yeah. like I'm pretty sure everyone has told him, man, wait till you go to SAC and the fans and the cowbells and the people in the ear and all the love and respect that, you know, Sacramento Kings fans give to the NBA, not only the Kings, but the NBA. I would have loved to send him out, you know, out of Sacramento probably this morning on a, just a better feel, right. bro. Yes. Like just really, you know what, man? I was highly impressed with the building. I was highly impressed with the city and I can't speak any higher than the fans, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, and he wake up today thinking I probably won't be coming back to sack anytime I know. soon. Right? I know he's more impressed with the Dallas Mavericks yes. this morning and what they did last night instead of the Sacramento Kings coming up at what? Five fifteen. We got Jason Anderson, of the Sacramento Bee set to join us. He yes, was in sir. the building. He asked De'Aaron Fox about being a leader and speaking after the game. We'll get into that coming up at the top of the hour because D Fox had some strong comments about that. But let's get back to the phone lines, Jay. Steven's been hanging on with us on line three. Steven, you're on with Drapes and Jay. What's up, man? Man, how you guys doing, man? I don't want to hear anybody. I don't want to hear anybody complain about like being on hold for too long, man. Come on now. <laughs> what else I they doing, doing, right? I took, bruh, I took regional transit and it took me 48 minutes to get from my work to downtown only to miss you guys by two minutes. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> oh, when yesterday? Even, oh, man. No. Oh, yeah. really? Oh. I tried to pull up on you guys, man. And uh, I was late. So I sat around and hung out with the. Uh, with high flyer in him? Oh, did we lose Steven? You there, Steven? Kind of human being. Yeah. Hey, I'm still here. Yeah, all right, all right, baby. I thought yeah, you might be on high speed rail right now or something <laughs> like that. You were cutting oh, out man. on me, man. You're, you're, you're cutting out. But yeah, sorry you missed I us apologize. yesterday. No, no, it's all good, man. It is all good. But anyway, man, that's what that's what I was trying to get at, man. I was trying to pull up. I was trying to see the boys real quick. Maybe check out the. Check out a beam while I hung out downtown, mm. man. Nah, 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 nah. I got home as soon as I got home, watched the game. As soon as the starters were pulled, I was like, "Ooh, boy, ooh, yeah, ooh." How you gonna How you gonna let Dallas get up on you by thirty? Right. And then it's gonna be embar it's embarrassing when 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 you ha when you're down by that much, man, and you pull your starters. It's like, well, there ain't no use mm. in wasting all this, you know, putting mileage on the boys when. You know, we're down by almost 40. Right. So very, very, very disheartening, man. Very disheartening. But, All right, hey, Steven. man, at least, hey, man, appreciate you guys, man. All right, man. I'll catch y'all next time. Yeah, yeah, we'll be out there again. We'll do some more live shows, no doubt about first it. First of then, many. Uh, yes, first of many, and hopefully we'll be able to light the beam. Let me ask you this, Jay, because, you know, I'm the team broadcaster, work for the squad. Mm -hmm. I left early last night. Did you? Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't leave too early. Fourth quarter early? Fourth quarter. Okay. Fourth quarter. 
But like, what was you trying to beat, brother? I don't know, man. Traffic, traffic. or you just <laughs> fired up? Or you just couldn't take it no more? Or what nah, happened? It was just like, you know what? Let me beat this traffic. This game's you. over. It's a wrap. But I feel a little guilty about that. Like, I feel like I should have stuck it out with the guys. And I was talking to Alan Styles about this. He said, yeah, he stuck it out, went to post game. He said, because that way he beat traffic because everybody was already Gone. leaving early. Yeah. You know, but should I have stuck around, bro? Oh. Man, that's that tough was, to tell another I, person. I was to, off. Yeah. It was my off night. Sure. I didn't have to work. Sure. So, well, I'll say this. I think there is a the same way we are we've been asking for this team to show certain emotions and respond mm-hmm. and, you know, show some grit in certain areas. I can give you a mulligan. Okay. Like, okay. You stuck it out. It'd be different if you were ho hum, you know, feathery in the air, <laughs> couldn't trust you, don't know yeah. what drapes is about. I got to get, I mean, you know, look, all due respect. I think you come not only to this show, I think we've seen it pre and post on NBC. And I definitely hear it in, you know, in your voice when I do get the opportunity to, to listen to you and Katie, when it comes to the passion that comes through the microphone, right? You know, the broadcast. And so with all that being said, drapes is, I think you've bought all in like something it's funny, and I'm pulling back the curtain a little bit yeah. here. We have a new boss here at Sac Sports oh, yeah, 1140, yeah, yeah. right? Shouts yep. out to our new boss, the boss man. Yep. And um, he he has come from another station that just say he's not a Sacramento Kings fan. Yeah. I'll let him tell his story when his story, <laughs> you know, when he writes the book. <laughs> right. But he's trying to involve himself in the Sacramento community. And he said to me on numerous occasions, I'm going all in. Mm. As a Sacramento Kings fan, I'm adopting the Kings as my squad. I saw the boss man last night, fresh new gear, Kings gear in his hand. Oh, did he? He Don't, actually went to the store. Dude, and got he's some, spending huh? the money, his okay. own money. Okay. To, to dive in with the Kings. And so all I can do is respect that. And right. so I use that to say, I think since you've been here, you have blended yourself in a Sacramento culture around a Sacramento city, the community within the fans. People love you. And I think it's okay because guess what? We just went through a sweet 16 of years that I'm pretty sure we all walked out out. (laughs) very early. (laughs) Right. So if you get one drapes, it's it's all good, bro. Don't don't be down on yourself, man. And and actually, I was going to leave at halftime. Oh, just but dude, where be, are you going? No, but, but, <laughs> Wait you know, a minute now. I, I always got things to do, big fella. I always got things to do that. and people to see. I got Off it. Off night, family out of town. You know what? Yes, I was, sir. I was about to get into them streets. <laughs> but then I was like, you know what? My boys might come back. It's the biggest game of, the, the, biggest biggest of the, the season, season according like, to you. I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to stick it out. <laughs> Stuck it out through the third. I'm like, let me stick it out for the start of the fourth, just in case. Mm. And then by the seven minute mark, that first time out, I was over, like, over. It was over. <laughs> and then two minutes later, Mike pulled everybody right. anyway. So I didn't miss much. But I, I was wondering, man. Did like, you at least turn the radio on when you oh, got yeah. to the car? I, I okay. did. All I right. Did. The new I, Benz. I, I got the, you. Yeah, the new <laughs> Benz from Stockton, uh, Mercedes Benz of Stockton, just a short drive down I 5. But no, I, and I finally got to listen to the G Man mm, on the call. Yeah. And I'll tell you yeah. what, the G Man, I, I give him credit, man. After all them years of being down. Whew. All them blowout losses. He still made it enjoyable to listen to. You know what I mean? Like you wouldn't be able to tell from his voice in the calls that it was a 36 point loss. Yeah. You know what I mean? He was still engaged, still excited. And then I listened to the post game show also. Okay. With our boy Jay Ross. They got out of there quick, didn't they? Yeah. They went right to sound quick. Too. Right. <laughs> they went to Keegan, De'Aaron, Mike. And then they were like, all right, we'll see we you on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> But I get it, man, because we don't need to hear from them. Yeah. We don't need to hear from High Flyer Jason Ross. We need to hear from the participants, the guys who are responsible for what we saw on the floor. And so coming up in just a little bit, we'll hear from De'Aaron Fox. Uh, didn't seem like he took a too kindly to a question from our guy Jason Anderson, who we'll have on at 515. But, you know, on a day like today, we don't need to hear from me. We don't need to hear from you. I know it's our job, but really – the people that need to be speaking, the players and the coaches. And on Friday, they need to speak with their play. They need to atone for what we saw last night at home at uh, Golden One Center. And so when we come back, we're going to switch gears a little bit. I want to get into this Caitlin Clark story, Jay, because I find it interesting what Ice Cube is offering Caitlin Clark. And if I'm Caitlin Clark, 
Sign me up today. I'll tell you what it is. You're listening to The Drive Guys on Sacktown Sports 1140. Can Mike Brown build on last season's Coach of the Year award? Can the Kings exceed 48 wins? We will be better prepared to make the run that we expect to run come next playoff. Tune in to every Kings game this season on Sacktown Sports and SacktownSports.com. Dr. Ken Howachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Arch support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line is that the Good Feet Arch support can be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. This is for the men who never settle. The ones who believe only quitters and a game and a tie. The type of guys who choose the bar with the biggest TVs to overcompensate for theirs at home. And the men who use PTO to catch afternoon basketball in March with the boys. This is the Lodge mentality. This is Twin Peaks. Who wants to settle for a single TV? With more TVs, bigger screens, plus our fabulous scenic views, there's more to watch at Twin Peaks. The Amish have a reputation for craftsmanship, determination, and quality. Hi, this is Frank LaRosa with a word about Naturewood Home Furnishings. You know, those virtues sound quite similar to the Keys family and the day-to-day values on display at Naturewood. The Amish furniture craftsmanship begins with the finest hardwood, shaping and molding the raw materials into one-of-a-kind art. In addition to the classic styles long sought and revered by discriminating furniture lovers, Naturewood Home Furnishings offers a vast selection that includes transitional, modern, farmhouse, arts and crafts, and other stunning styles all available in the ultimate Amish standard of excellence built over centuries. All Naturewood Amish furniture is on sale right now for a limited time. Let the Naturewood team guide you through their selection of Amish furniture that will be with you forever. Naturewood Home Furnishings off Highway 50 at Hazel. Look for the water wheel. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawon'twait.com. The Sewer System. It's probably the last thing on your mind, and that's okay. Because at the Sacramento Area Sewer District, it's our first priority. As the region's largest sewer utility, we own and maintain thousands of miles of sewer pipe. And our job is to get to your sewer problem before it interrupts your life. So whether you've got a slow drain or a backup, call us first, day or night. The Sacramento Area Sewer District. It's a dirty job, but we're happy to do it. For a precision-crafted performance, the decision is easy. A new Acura from Acura of Stockton. Get the driving experience you've been waiting for in a new Acura. Get the best selection and customer service you deserve from Acura of Stockton. Shop in person or use our online express store at acuraofstockton.com. Acura of Stockton will buy your trade, even if you don't buy from us. Don't settle for less than precision-crafted performance of a new Acura from Acura of Stockton and acuraofstockton.com. The Drive.
Five Guys, live and local, every afternoon, Monday through Friday on Sacktown Sports. Uh, I mean, they came out aggressive, uh, especially in the second half. They came out aggressive. Um, and, I, I mean, they played They played well. They played physical. I feel like they just controlled the game and, and how they want to play. That's Keegan Murray last night after the Sacramento Kings suffered a massive 132-96 loss to the Dallas Mavericks at home at G1C. The rematch coming up on Friday, a must-win game for the Kings if they want to avoid the play. And you're listening to Drapes and Jay here. It's the Drive Guys, Sacktown Sports, 1140. Looking at the text line, Jay, somebody says, Drapes, you should have stayed till the end, bagging on how the team did and then leaving early like a Laker fan. Nah, nah, nah. Come I'm, on, I'm not going to do on. you like that, brother. You, you better than a Laker fan, man. <laughs> Who is this Yahoo yeah. from the 530? Yeah. Did, didn't put his uh, name on it, of course. Texted in. Got the Twitter fingers, if you will. Texted in and throwing, you know, haymakers like that. That's the bottom of the barrel, Drapes. A Laker fan. Yeah. I, I never do you like that, bro. No, nah, and, dude, it was like six-something left in the game. We're down by like 28. What do you I mean? Come on right. now. Come on. No shot. No, no shot. And it was my off day also. The fact that I even came out there to support the guy. <laughs> Think about that, Jay. You get the one day off day, you still come right, out. And I still came out. <laughs> exactly. So whoever that was, man, uh, you know, you can kick rocks. You can kick rocks. I, I want to get into this Caitlin Clark story because I, I'll be honest, Jay. I'll admit it. I'm a Caitlin Clark fan. Okay. I, I like watching her play. I think she plays with passion. I think she plays with energy. She got skills. In fact, she is a game changer. So much so. And you sent us this story in the text uh, chain. Caitlin Clark gets blockbuster $5 million offer from Ice Cube Big Three League. Now, Ice Cube tweeted out, we intended the offer to remain private while Caitlin Clark plays for the championship. But I won't deny what's now already out there. Big Three made a historic offer to Caitlin Clark. Why wouldn't we? Caitlin is a generational athlete who can achieve tremendous success in the big three. Now let's talk about this offer here, Jay. It's a boatload of money, a bag of money, $5 million. And they only wanted her to play in, I think it was 10 games. I think it, 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 yeah, 5 million to play eight regular season games and possibly two playoff games. So 10 games for 5 million. If you're Caitlin Clark, are you taking that bag? Are you taking that bag? Oh, I, I, for me, I'm saying yes. A hundred percent, right? Not even close. Not even. I, like. I had looked this up yeah. when I sent this story. The highest paid player in the WA, mm. WNBA is Erica Wheeler of the Fever. What's she making? Let's take a wild guess. What you think? 150,000. A little more. 250. Close. 242. That's it. That's her salary. This year, as the highest paid WNBA player for this season, $242,000. No Absolutely, you take the $5 million <laughs> for a run of 10, 10 games. 10 games. Now, the regular season games make it interesting. Mm-hmm. I could see if it was like a run of 10 games, exhibitions. Right. You know, of course, you play a little mix, co-ed, however yeah. you want to make it sound. You go and get, yep. you know, somebody that that can do the same thing. Maybe someone who just retired or who's not playing in the WNBA, you know, something of that nature. Um, but for me, mm. there's not a question <laughs> in the world. And I'm not saying Caitlin Clark and I did not look up her wealth. I did not because one thing I don't like to do is count people's bag. Yep, yep, yep. And I don't believe that stuff. You know, when you look at people's net worth, it's not 100 percent. Yeah. I don't know what her NILs were this right. season, but I do know this. Playing women's basketball and garnering five million. Yeah. It's going to take her a while to get that. Yes. Why not take that up front for 10 games? Right. That's probably they play once a week. So we're talking about a couple of months tops yeah. for five million. And you can still play the WNBA. What? You can still get all your endorsements yes. and everything. This is five million on top of all of that. And you can make history too. This could be the start of women playing in the men's league. Like this is bigger even than the bag. This is bigger than basketball. 
And so I don't know if she'll do it or not. And I, I wonder if some people who are against it think maybe it's a gimmick by the big three. But we've been talking so much over the last few years about how women's sports has grown. And you're talking about arguably the greatest women's player. I would love to see her. Trust me. I know tons of women who are much better hoopers than the men. So it ain't a fact that she can't hold her own. She's not strong. No, Caitlin Clark can hoop. She can hang. And the big three is retired NBA yes. players. Yes, true. She ain't having to guard LeBron, oh, yeah. KD, or nobody like that. Yeah. She having to guard 60-year-old Cap Mobley. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, well, yeah, I throw my no, boy that's my guy. That's my, okay, guy, that's from my guy from Philly. Yeah. That's my guy from Philly, so I can do that. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Brought. But, you know, gray hair Catino Mobley. Sure. If I'm Caitlin Clark, I'm taking that bag, bro. And think about the endorsements that come from that. Yeah, I just looked it up. 3.1 million is what she has reported com- – according to, to sources she got for her NIL this year. Mm. So 5 million is, and I'm pretty sure Ice Cube is a sharp cat. And I saw him on the Pat McAfee show. I didn't listen to it. Uh, we'll try to get Cube on, you know, we'll try to see if we can get him on, but okay. um, 5 million lets me know they picked that because that's more than she's ever earned. Probably. Right. Exactly. And they're, they're going to make it worth her while because the, the, I guess the, the detraction to this is she comes out there and gets worked. And it makes her look completely bad, terrible. She can't deal with a 60-year-old Catino Mobley. <laughs> shots out to the cat. And, you know, people are now throwing, you know, stones at her. Because the one thing for Caitlin Clark, for me, is most people, I, I believe, the fact we understand she can ball, but I think part of her superpowers are no one has really gotten the best of her. Mm-hmm to the best of ability. And we saw the angel Reese thing last year, but no one has really just balled out on her one-on-one and kind of got her frustrated and to the point to where like, Ooh, she got worked over. Right, right. Now we may see it happen with Juju Watkins coming at her this yeah, year. We going to see, yeah. but I think that's part of her superpower is she, it's like Floyd Mayweather. She hasn't lost yet. Right. So people are kind of tuning in to see her lose. And I'm saying personally, one-on-one, I think that could be a detraction drapes of her going to the to playing in a big so three the and Coutinho. Of it, like yeah. if she get worked over Tear that down. Man, that mystique of yeah. man. It's, she's no longer super you know what right. no longer Wonder Woman. Right. You I, know, I'm with you. But she bleeds. I tell you what, five mil. How long how long is it going to take her to make that in the WNBA? Oh, I'm willing to find right. out. Right. For eight games in the regular season, a possible two, <sighs> ten games, and it's half court, three on three. You do that every day of practice. Do you, you know think, what I mean? Do you think, and I mean, as you said, these guys are beyond their prime in the big three. But do you really think there's an opportunity for her to showcase anything more than what she's done playing in the big three? Like, I think for her, it would be a money grab. Like, beyond right, the money, right, and right, I'm not right. saying that's not worth it, right. what else is she getting from playing in the big three? I think legacy. Mm. I think history. First crossover. First cross. Okay. Like if she actually succeeds in that too. Yeah. Then that may open up the door for a Juju down the road too. You know what I mean? A Paige Beckers of, of UConn. Like, and so to me, I don't see the only downside is like you said, if she gets work, but then she just goes back to the women and dominate again. And like, that was her lane anyway. That was her, where she built her, her reputation anyway. So she can't lose. Almost right. She can't you. lose almost. Mm. And it's three on three. How worked are you getting in three on three? See, I think you could get more one-on-one action. You know, this, yeah. like it's more space, more room. Yeah. And you know, one thing about these guys, you're around these guys day in, day out. You travel with the Kings, you yep. travel with Boston. You know, some of these guys that get competitive and they don't want, you know, they don't want the red nose on them. They don't want to be the clown. clown. They don't want to be the guy who lost it. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, they're going to, I'm not taking it easy. Matter of fact, yeah. we're going to put a mouse in the house. Yeah. We posting her up. I'm dunking on her, you know, and to me, I think she has more to lose than more to gain beside the bag. Okay. For mm-hmm. me. And I get what you're saying where it's like, eh, I wasn't supposed to beat these guys. Right, right. You know, but there is a mystique to me about Caitlin Clark where it's like, you know what? Nah, I'm the I'm the hardest thing moving, and you know, and I think that was kind of the 
the windfall last year is when LSU was like, I mean, we don't care who you are. Yeah. We, as a team, we beat. We beat. You, you know? No, you're right. You're right. All right, we're going to get back to the phones, 916-339-1140. And back to the Sacramento Kings. Ten games left for the Kings. What do they need to do in these final ten to secure a top six seed? We'll dive into that next. It's Jay, Drapes and Jay here on The Drive Guys, Sacktown Sports, 1140. You never know what you might hear when listening to a Sacramento Kings game. Out of Keegan, going for another triple. Man, is he feeling it. Keegan, can he do it? Yes, there's number 11, Keegan Murray. Keegan steps back. He just knocked down his 12th three-pointer, a Kings franchise record. He's got 45 points. Never miss a moment of Sacramento Kings basketball with Sacktown Sports and the Sacktown Sports app. At L.L. Floyd, we've been a trusted partner to pros for over 30 years. With over 400 nationwide warehouses full of in-stock, job-ready inventory, you'll get what you need. And our exclusive pro pricing means that pros never pay retail. Because at LL Flooring, all we do is floors. So we're going to do it right. Sign up for a free pro account today to start getting pro benefits. Beachhead Deli on 7-Eleven K Street is now your place to go in downtown Sacramento prior to all the games, concerts, and events. Conveniently located just across the street from the arena, Beach Hut Deli features the finest gourmet sandwiches and craft beverages anywhere. Beach Hut Deli at 7-Eleven K Street is also your premier lunch destination seven days a week. Come by and say hi to new owner Brad Wakai. He's so excited to take care of all your taste bud needs. That's Beach Hut Deli at 7-Eleven K Street in Sacramento. National Ping Club Fitter of the Year, Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop is introducing the straightest, most forgiving Ping driver ever with the new Ping G430 Max 10K driver. A fixed back weight, Ping's largest head profile, and a carbon fly wrap crown help G430 Max 10K launch the ball higher with less spin for consistently longer and straighter results. Schedule your fitting and see for yourself at the Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop, Fulton Avenue, Cap City Freeway, or online at HagenOaks.com. What's going on? We're talking to Chad Hoblet of Hoblet Dodd Chrysler Jeep Ram in Woodland. Chad, what's going on for Ram Truck Month? Right now, save up to sixteen thousand five hundred off MSRP on new twenty twenty four Ram twenty five hundred Laramies. One of the nicest, most capable trucks you can buy with the biggest savings of the year. This is huge, and we have over two hundred available. Okay, so why choose Hoblet? We do things a little different here at Hoblet. We're here to help you find the vehicle you need at the best possible price. That's why we don't have a bunch of dealer markups, surprise add-ons, or hidden fees. And we've become California's number one new Ram truck dealer. At Hoblet, you'll get the small town experience with the big city savings and selection. If you're looking for a truck, Hoblet should be your first and only stop. See their full selection at hobletdodge.com. Unbeatable prices, unbeatable selection. Nobody beats Hoblet, period. 16,500 total net savings after 10,500 factor rebates and 6,000 dealer discounts. Rebates include 1,000 case construction rebate. Must have purchased qualifying new case equipment from an authorized case dealer and 500 first responder bonus cash. Must be a member of qualifying first responder association. Ten at this net savings to dealer for details. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Bradley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Fiddy and Fiber, Dawson Oil Company, and Good Guys Heating and Cooling. KHTKAM Sacramento, KYMX HD2 Sacramento. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios, your flagship station for the Beam Team. Should we light the beam? Light the beam, baby. Sacktown Sports. The only station in Sacramento giving you local sports coverage from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Sacktown Sports. Back here on Sacktown Sports, 1140 Drapes and Jay holding it down. Hour three of the drive, guys. Kevin Gleason, Whitey Gleason, he'll be back tomorrow. Took today off. Needed some uh, therapy, retail therapy maybe for him after last night's loss with the Kings falling to the Dallas Mavericks. And, you know, Jay, 
we spent the first couple of hours talking about the loss, and, and I want to spin it forward because the Kings have 10 games left to go. Third most difficult schedule in the league. They play these same, very same Dallas Mavericks on Friday. Then they got the Utah Jazz on Sunday, the Clippers on Tuesday before they go out on a hellacious East Coast road trip. When you got Knicks, Celtics on back-to-back days. Kings got 10 games left to go. As I take a look at the standings right now, they're seventh. Tied with the Phoenix Suns, exactly 42 and 30, but they have the tiebreaker over Phoenix, who has the most difficult schedule in the NBA remaining. How many wins do the Kings need to secure it a six seed over the last 10 games? Is it six and four? Seven and three? Eight and two? You guys can weigh in out there also on the YouTube chat, the text line. 916-339-1140. Hit us up. I want to hear what you think about that. How many wins do the Kings need to get to the top six spot? Now, Mm. mind you, I feel like the win against Dallas counts as two wins. Like, if you could beat Dallas on Friday, that's almost like two wins. Like, forget the other nine. You have to – that has to be one (laughs) of them. You know what I mean? I got you. Like, you got to get that one. I'm thinking seven and three, Jay to get it done, a top six uh, seed. You said that earlier, and I had yeah. thought about it, and I I, I kind of did my my calculations. Oh, my, you did some math? Okay. Yeah, okay. you know. I agree, Dallas, for sure. All right. I jump all the way to the last game, Sunday, April 14th. Yep. It's Portland. Yep. That's a guarantee that you need that. Yep. That's two, right? Yep. I kick up. They play Phoenix the second the second game before the last, which is that Friday yeah. going into Sunday. You have to win that one. Okay. For me, that's three. That's three. After Dallas, we play who? Utah. Utah. The Sunday. Got to get that Gotta one. Got to get that one. Got to get So that now one. we're at four. New York, Boston, at Oklahoma City. Ooh. I'm going to push those to the side because I think you okay. lose those three. You, all three. So I'm at four and three right now. All right. That leaves me with two games or three games. Ooh. The Clippers next Tuesday, the Pelicans on the 11th, which you have not beaten all season, yeah, and the Brooklyn Nets, which is the third game, as you told me, the swing game almost yep. in this four-game ho- uh, road trip, New York, Boston, Brooklyn, OKC. Yep. All right, I started, I'm at four and three before I hit those games. Those three. Do you think they beat the Clippers here at home on next Tuesday? Yes. I think the Clippers are reeling right now. Okay. I think they got some issues. I'm going to give our guys the benefit of the doubt on that one. All right. So we're at five and three. Five and three. With the Pelicans <laughs> and Brooklyn game. I think I know where you're going. Brooklyn to you is a must win or is it difficult? I think it'll be difficult. Okay. But at that point of the season, Jay, Brooklyn won't have anything to play with, play for. They might be already thinking Cancun. So I'm taking that win. I'm saying we got to win that. So that's that that takes you to six and six and three. Yeah, and let me say this: you have to win that one because we just said they're going to lose to the Knicks in Boston on the back to back. Yeah. So you're that'll coming be a off three a, game losing. That would streak. be a three game losing streak mm, at the tough. worst part of the season to do it. Okay. So that leaves. The Pelican game. The Pelican game. So we're at six and three right now. <laughs> with the Pelicans. With the freaking Pelicans. Here's the thing about the schedule. As I break down, we know how difficult it is. I could argue that with 10 games left to go, yeah, I want them to be seven and three. I want them to go eight and two. But seven and three with losses to Dallas, Phoenix, and New Orleans might not get it done. Seven and three includes win against Dallas, yep. win against Phoenix and New Orleans. Like those head to heads, like I said, those almost equal two. Because here's the thing with the Phoenix game, Jay. You lose that one. If I'm correct, Phoenix gets the tiebreaker. They then. do. Exactly. You lose against Dallas. That means you two are even, and you got to go to a conference record mm-hmm. or whatever it may be. And so, 
I think those games, the Dallas, New Orleans, and you can't, you know, New Orleans, you obviously can't win the tiebreaker. That, no. That's over and done with. But you're chasing them in the standings, too. Yes. Like, those three are three you have to have. So would you take and let me finish this. I think you have to go six and four. That's me. Mm. I like the seven and three, but I do understand where you're going with this drapes. It also matters who that seven and three or that six and four. Right. The wins are against. against. Yes. You could beat Boston, Brooklyn and New York, and they wouldn't be as impactful. Right. If you yep. beat Dallas, Phoenix and the Pelicans. So I understand what you're saying. And I think, you know, if you notice my six, you definitely got to have the Dallas. You got to have the Phoenix. You got to have the, the the Clipper game. Yeah. The Pelican game is is interesting in the fact of I don't know by that time, which would be the last four, ga- four days of the season. That's mm-hmm. Thursday, April 11th. The season ends on the 14th. I'm not exactly sure where the Pelicans would be at that point. Right. Are they jockeying for position? Are they already kind of locked in? Have they separated themselves on a three game? You know, two game is still you can catch them. But the other part, I think, and this is why I would love to see that is because it's a mental thing for the Kings. If you get swept by the Pelicans in the season and let's just say for whatever reason you play them in the play in that like that's a that's you're almost saying like you're throwing your hands up yeah we're not gonna win that almost you know that's a mental battle you have to have with yourself i'm gonna say six and four but i i'm kind of leaning with you i might say seven and three depending on those six wins or who they're against yeah i'm looking at the youtube chat right now the soul shine says seven or eight curtis says at least six wins uh manny too legit our guy says maybe seven to three or six and four uh, Soul Shine says Pelicans are without Ingram. The Kings need that game. That's a pride game. So yes. you've got to have that one. And so let's dive into it. We're going to take some phone calls coming up in just a little bit. Ten games left to go, Sacramento Kings fans. How many wins does this team need to have to clinch a top six spot? Hit us up, 916-339-1140. You're on with Drapes and Jay. It's the Drive Guys on Sacktown Sports, 1140. Malik Monk plays here. Right left, goes right, steps back, launches the three. Nothing but net. Oh, that was just filthy. Oh, my, that was sweet. Sackdown Sports is your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. Discover your dream home at Subcontractors United, your source for all home improvement needs. A talented team of home services experts is ready to make your projects a breeze. No more endless internet searches. Find your contractors in one place. Enjoy stress-free service absolutely free with no hidden costs and no accounts to set up. Transform your living space into something extraordinary. Visit Subcontractors United today and experience the joy of hassle-free home improvement. Dream big at subcontractorsunited.com. Meet Cheryl. Hey, she's on vacation and lost in the moment. Unfortunately, so is her Chase debit card. It's got to be somewhere. Maybe she lost it at Salsa Night. These skirts should have pockets. Or maybe she lost it at Pilates. Three and two and But she's not worried. With the Chase mobile app, she can lock her card till it turns up. Tools that help protect. One bank that puts you in control. Visit chase.com slash checking. Chase, make more of what's yours. Chase mobile app is available for select mobile devices. Message and data reads may apply. J.P. Morgan Chase Bank, N.A. member FDIC. At Progressive, we know how much you love your recreational vehicles, so we decided to record this commercial in an RV. With a family on vacation. Mom, who are these people? Oh, that's Chloe and Jamie. They're recording a commercial, sweetie. Don't they do that in the studio? Uh, normally. No. But we wanted to feature a family who bundled their home and RV and saved with Progressive. Um, yeah, it looks like you're all out of chips. Okay, I think we'll just drop you off at the next gas station. Bundle your home and other vehicles with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Not available in all states or situations. When you take the time to shop at Folsom Lake Honda, there's one thing you'll always find. Happy people ready to serve you. As a family-owned and operated dealership since 2009, customer service is our number one priority. Our customers love doing business with us, and you will too. Looking to own or lease? During the spring sales event, drive a brand new Accord or Civic. Visit us today at FolsomLakeHonda.com, your one-stop Honda shop. Folsom Lake Honda. Hey guys, do you know your T-Level? 
Revive Men's Health here in Sacramento is helping you take that first step toward better health and enhanced intimacy with a free testosterone level test, exam, and consultation. Plus, for this month only, qualified patients can kickstart their treatment with a free supply of ED medication. Revive's customized ED treatments can provide immediate results, restore blood flow naturally, and even bring spontaneity back into your love life. With both in-person and telemedicine appointments available, plus free shipping directly to you, Revive takes the hassle out of treating low T and ED. Having an optimal testosterone level can change your whole life, and it starts with knowing your T level. Take that first step and book your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. And kickstart your treatment with a free supply of ED medication this month only. Call Revive Men's Health Sacramento at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. The following is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. Meeting with the media, speaking in front of the media. We'll play that De'Aaron Fox sound coming up in just a little bit. Jason Anderson coming up at 515. The question we just posed, however, was with 10, ga- 10 games left to go, Sacramento Kings fans, how many wins does this Kings team need in order to clinch a top six seed? Somebody from the 916 says, I think they need six wins to get the six seed. And before you start saying they can't win versus OKC. Check out the last 10. Hold on. We beat OKC yeah. twice this year, right? Yeah. What are they talking no about? No one said they can't beat OKC. Yeah. I, I'm, I, I think they can get that one done. OKC might not even have anything to play for. Yeah, very at that true. Point. I mean, I, I think they're taking my comments out of out of line where it says, I think they're going to lose to Oklahoma City. I didn't say they can't beat them. Right. I just said the way I look at the schedule, the way it's set up, I look at New York, Boston, and I think – OKC is going to be me personally. I think they're going to be playing for something, jockeying for position right, traits. Maybe, maybe, but yep. I, that by all means, they can definitely beat OKC. Yes, and and, and that's a tough ro- a road game uh, at Oklahoma City. I mean, when you look at this road schedule upcoming for the Kings, they got Dallas, Utah, and LA Clippers at home. But then they go to New York. We know when you play New York, it's like a rock fight, a bar fight. It's going to be tough, physical, hard to win especially after traveling across country the day before the team will leave out on Wednesday, April 3rd. Then you got at Boston, a Thursday, Friday, New York, Boston, back to back. Not sure what Adam Silver is doing to our boys, why you're scheduling it like this, but that's tough. And then on Sunday, you got to go back to the New York area and face Brooklyn, which we marked down as a win for Sacramento. Then you got to finish it up on the road at Oklahoma City in the final road game of the season. I honestly think six and four minimum, really seven and three. Dallas is playing lights out basketball right now. Dallas has beaten almost everybody they've faced lately. And here's the thing. When you look at their schedule, they have the 23rd hardest schedule coming up the rest of the season. They play OKC. They play Sacramento. Miami, they play Golden State twice and also Houston twice. I think those are the two two teams you got to keep an eye on. We got to root for Houston. And as much as it hates me to say it, we got to root for the Warriors and their matchups with the Dallas Mavericks. And here's why. The Warriors are in our rear view mirrors, ladies and gentlemen. We're not worried about Steph Curry, Draymond, and Golden State anymore. Those guys aren't even on our radars anymore. 
Right now, the Golden State Warriors are four and a half games behind the Sacramento Kings. They're done. They're done. They're toast. Get rid of They're them. out of it. And so I need the Warriors to handle their business. For the first time this season. You rooting? I'm I'm <laughs> oh, see why you got to say is like, that where you go on your room like that, Jay? I'm why, just checking, man. Uh, rooting sounds. Put it on the record little. right now. What you doing, brother? I'm pulling for the Warriors. Is that that's a little softer than rooting? That is rooting's like that. Ah. Is all right. If the Warriors win, I'm happy. I, I need them to win those two games. And then when you look at Houston, and I think the Warriors Houston play one more uh, with each other. I need Houston to go on a nice little run. Like, Houston can ha- help us out. You take care of the Warriors, boot them out of the top Dallas. 10. And then, then they beat Dallas. Mm-hmm. They got twice, twice yeah. against Dallas. And so, oh, somebody just texted uh, 707. Draymond just got ejected in Orlando. No, he didn't. Jay, look that up for me. I'm, I'm hunting. Because the game just started 15 minutes ago out there in Orlando. Don't tell me he got ejected already. Don't tell me Draymond Green is up to his old antics. Heck, we saw him last night and what he did to the Miami Heat. Patty Mills got him uh, in a little headlock and threw him down. No, no, you know, they just called it a common foul. But I think if you're Sacramento and 2J, you may have to win a game that you're probably not favored to win in. Like, oh yeah, you know what I mean. For sure, like, it, it makes well. Take that's how you get seven and OKC. three. Yeah, yeah. At, at OKC, maybe beating the Knicks or something like that. You know, and, and if you're Sacramento, you're capable. You've won at Denver. You've won at OK. You've won at Minnesota. You've done that. But the thing is, the games that you mentioned, Jay, that are must wins. The Utahs of the world. Yeah, you can't lose the Utah no more. The Portland. Can't lose the Portland can't no more. Can't lose the Portland. Can't, there was one other, too. Right? Well, Dallas Friday. Yeah, you Dallas is that. the guaranteed for me. Yes, you, you, you know. got to win that. The, I think, and that's why I say six and four, because you make a great point, Drapes. The, if you beat Dallas, you beat everyone who's in front of you, minus Phoenix. If you beat Dallas, the Clippers, yep. the Pelicans, and Phoenix, All of those games are pretty much going to count for two right? for the most part. And so if you throw in the Portland and Utah, which is for me, guaranteed games, that takes you to six and four. Now, if you don't get those games, then you definitely need to go seven, three, and you need to beat a Pelicans and or a Knicks Knicks. and or make sure Brooklyn Brooklyn, is in one of those three. Like you have to go get those. Uh, I mean, seven and three, technically, what would you be taking the losses? Because you don't want to take the Dallas loss. You don't want to take the Phoenix loss, right? New York and Boston. Okay, you'll right? take those two. And OKC. Those are the three you would those take. You would accept. I would, okay. I would accept that. Exactly. Those are the three that don't hurt you as much, especially New York and Boston, because that's Eastern Conference. It, it's not like, you know, uh, it worked too like the game against Dallas is going to be. The game against Phoenix is going to be. Allen on the text line says, Kyle, you can root for Dallas to lose, not for the Warriors to win. You're right. I'm not rooting for the Warriors. I'm rooting for the Mavericks to lose uh, that game coming up uh, on Friday. And then they got two against Golden State, two against um, Houston as well. Jay, let's get to the phone line. Javier is on line one. Javier, you're on with Drapes and Jay. What's happening, man? How you doing, Mr. Draper? How you doing, Mr. Jay? You know, uh, long time listener, uh, and mad respect to you, Mr. Draper, on the pre and post game show, as well as the, you know, play by play. Mr. Jay, I've known you since I was, man, 15. Respect, man. I hear from, you know, living to soon, but my, uh, point that I want to make, uh, rather I want to see what you guys think. Um, uh, I just think King 73, uh, Dallas, Utah, the Knicks, the Nets, the Thunder, uh, the Suns, and the Blazers, and that will get you in. Um, just that would be that would that would be the the seven to get in. I think we can lose and or will lose to the Clippers, the Celtics, and the Pelicans. We don't want to play the Pelicans because they're just our kryptonite. No matter what anybody said, that length, athleticism, and overall uh, perimeter defense, we don't have the size. And Monty hasn't done anything to bolster that perimeter defense and or size and length and reach that we do not have compared to them. My question for you, though, uh, Mr. Draper, is this. Yes. As well as, uh, Jay, is, yeah. Why in any way, and I've, I've, I'm trying to ask everybody who has any insight, 
I, people are like, oh, you're crazy for thinking or even having this type of uh, thought process. Why is Juan Toscano Anderson not somebody that was brought back? You look at last night in, in, in uh, garbage time, you know, Kessa Edwards missed three uh, put back layups at the cup, literally at the rim. Granted, he hasn't played a lot, but this is his opportunity. He missed three, give us two or three easy, straight layups right in front of his face, trying to make the most opportunity. He's missing layups, point blank range. You got him, uh, Colby Jones. You got uh, Slauson. You have um, the, the gentleman with the, the Mohawk. And, and you have, uh, you know, Davion was out there with uh, another uh, fifth player, Duarte. When you're running a nine-man rotation, especially with injuries to Herter and to um, Trey Lyles' the MCL sprain, you got, you know, De'Aaron, Ke- Keon, Harrison, Keegan, and Sabonis. And you're running Davion, Malik, Duarte, and Lynn. That's a nine-man rotation, which isn't bad. But you're telling me right now that a guy that knows the system, that knows how to play defense, is all effort, all money in, and is going to do exactly what Brown tells him to do, and is going to play with that effort on the defensive end on the perimeter, as well as the interior. He's a combo forward. He couldn't help us in, in a seven-game series defensively, contrary to what we more or less might have to push out there with what the five players that his name previous. Like, Kessler Edwards, nothing wrong with him. But it was like, oh, he wouldn't even play. I said, it's not about him being able to play. He would give our guys a, a, a blow, you know, a spell. We're going nine deep right now, and the five guys that name, four guys that didn't off the bench, two of them have defensive, you know, uh, strengths. And Duarte played horrible last night, you know. I'm going to call spade to spade, Dave Young. Uh, Javier, let me answer. Let me, and, and turn down your radio for me, man. Turn down your radio. The, uh, the reason why Juan Toscano, right now we don't have a roster spot, Jay. We converted that Keon Ellis. We gave him a three-year uh, contract. And so we don't have a roster spot right now to even bring him in. And Juan Toscano Anderson was here, got a little bit of a shot, really didn't make waves, didn't, you know, make an impact. And so if you bring him on, who are you kicking off? Kessler Edwards? I've seen some flashes from Kessler Edwards. Is Juan Toscano Anderson an upgrade? I, I don't know. And so, and you look at Mike Brown being a defensive coach, Jay. Kessler Edwards is pretty good defensively. Yeah, and he he's I always go back to what you said. It popped in my mind. He's he's the one guy on a perimeter who has a seven foot wingspan. A wingspan. Nobody else on this team has that. Yes. And if nothing else, you keep one of those in the box. Like, look, oh, you know, what how many times do you just always keep one of something just in right, case? Right. I'll keep it just in case. I'll savor it. And I like JTA. I do think he could bring something on the defensive side. I'm not down there enough, Drapes, to see him play every single day. I wasn't right. down there enough in, at, at team practice and, you know, media open forum for me to see how JTA was was meshing with the Kings. So I, I don't know. I understand with Javier, and Javier is a, is a solid caller. He's been calling for many moons. Yeah. He took a vacation since you've been here. But I'll say this, and I know we're looking for – you know, the, the square peg for the square hole and not the round right. one. <laughs> but if if JTA is something that we're looking for to help this team, right? that lets me know we're in more dire straits yeah, than anything. Yeah, yeah you're, you're right. If if JTA is going to be the difference the savior? for us, yeah. right? <laughs> then, mean, yes, then we are in some trouble. Uh, Jay, let's take a quick break. We're going to go back to the phones. You did confirm that Draymond Green got ejected yes. early in the game against the Orlando Magic. We'll talk about that at the phone lines. You're listening to The Drive Guys here on Sacktown Sports 1140. Subscribe to Sacktown Sports on YouTube and watch the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and The Drive Guys. Live Monday through Friday from 6 to 6. Plus view archive shows and exclusive content. Subscribe at YouTube.com slash Sacktown Sports. The weather's warming up, spring is here, and so is road trip season. And if you're saying, yeah, sure, I would love to load everything up in my car and hit the road and go on a long road trip, but I don't trust my car. It's not dependable. Well, then go see my friends at El Grove Kia. They'll get you into something dependable and super affordable, like a brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS for $19,988. Yep, at a time when the average new car price is over $48,000, El Grove Kia can get you into a brand new car for less than half of that. This car's loaded with automatic transmission and eight inch touchscreen with rear camera. It's got advanced driver assistance system. So it's got tech and safety. 
And again, this brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS can be yours for only $19,988. Only at the number one Sacramento Kia dealer, Elk Grove Kia and the Elk Grove Auto Mall and online at elkgrovekia.com. Elk Grove Kia sale price, $20,738. Kia rebate, $750. Net price, $19,988. One at this price, stock number GK9219. Expires March 31st, 2024. Are you prepared for an emergency or disaster? Because it's not a matter of if, but when. Don't find yourself saying, <laughs> When the storm rolls in, my time to find a pet-friendly evacuation center will have run out. The scorching heat wave will leave me powerless to cool my insulin. I'll face a hurricane without meds. Now that's a tough pill to swallow. Let's prepare so we all have a better story to tell. Get started at ready.gov slash older adults. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. Your gas light's on. We need to fill up. Gas around here is too expensive. Don't drive all over searching for the lowest prices. Just download the free Upside app and get cash back for every gallon of gas you buy. I've already made around 200 bucks. You can make that kind of cash back just for buying gas? I'm stopping now to download Upside and fill up my tank. Download the free Upside app to earn real cash back every time you buy gas. Cash out anytime to your bank account, PayPal, or e-gift card. Download the free Upside app now and use promo code GIFT for an extra 25 cents per gallon cash back on your first fill up. That's promo code GIFT. The sewer system. It's probably the last thing on your mind, and that's okay. Because at the Sacramento Area Sewer District, it's our first priority. As the region's largest sewer utility, we own and maintain thousands of miles of sewer pipe. And our job is to get to your sewer problem before it interrupts your life. So whether you've got a slow drain or a backup, call us first, day or night. The Sacramento Area Sewer District. It's a dirty job, but we're happy to do it. Hey, it's Carmichael Day for my good friends at American Energy. Now, I told you this before, but this is what we call extending a good deal right now. American Energy Heat and Air is offering an HVAC diagnostic for $99. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Never mind. They're offering it free. It's a $99 value, but you get it for zero. Let the American Energy team test your system connections and all the moving parts of that system to ensure that it's functioning properly. Now, this is a limited time offer. Expires March 31st. Call today to schedule your appointment at 916-520-9990. Speak to the company that has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau that's been making the greater Sacramento area proud since 1981. 916-520-9990 or AmericanEnergyAir.com. Tell them Carmichael Dave sent you. Call 916-520-9990 now. Welcome to the March Mania sales event at Kia Evacville. Get ready for an extraordinary showcase of our 2024 vehicle lineup. Experience the latest in cutting-edge technology, innovative features, and the sleek Kia design that defines excellence. During March Mania, we're excited to offer unbeatable lease options on our top models. Step into the future with the all-new Kia Sportage, where captivating design meets exhilarating performance. Explore the remarkable fuel efficiency of the Kia Nero, a hybrid marvel that extends your journey with every mile. Discover the luxury and versatility of the Kia Telluride, seamlessly blending sophistication with practicality. Don't miss our eco-friendly Kia hybrid options, perfect for those who prioritize efficiency without compromising on style. And with the EV9 in stock, Kia Evacaville is your destination for electric excitement. Visit us today during March Mania and take advantage of exclusive lease deals and special offers. Model availability, lease options, and features may vary. Please visit the Kia Evacaville for more details. Kings basketball for over 25 seasons. Sacktown Sports. I mean, we'll, I mean, we've will we beat them twice this year, so um, obviously we'll look it over and just try and get better, um, learn from our mistakes, uh, go back to what we're good at um, the last couple weeks. Drapes and Jay here on Sacktown Sports 1140. Coming up in about 40 minutes or so, Jason Anderson of the Sac B will be joining us to talk about last night's game, the final 10 games of the season as well. Me and Jay been chopping it up about what do the Kings need to do these final 10. We say at minimum six and four, seven and three would be even uh, nicer, if you will. But it's also about which 
uh, games you win. You got to win the Dallas and you got to win the Phoenix for sure. We want them to win uh, the Pelicans as well, uh, but you got to get to six or seven wins if you're Sacramento. Jay, I'm just on uh, Twitter right now, and I know you you uh, looked into it. Draymond uh, picked up two early texts. Yeah. And was ejected after having words with the official. I'm looking at, at it right now, Jay. Hold on here. Let me pull this up. It was 824 left to go in the first. It was a 6-6 game. He got ejected already. Man. What kind of clown is this? Yeah. Like, what, like the hook. Yeah. What can set you off in the first five, four minutes of a game that has you upset and getting ejected? I I would like to say I don't know. And I'm I'm pretty sure Draymond, you know, is going to have, especially on his podcast, he's going to let folks know and people will go that way and yeah. see. I, I'm a, I like Draymond. I'm a Draymond guy. Okay. And I know a lot of people don't like that. I understand that. But there are times, many times, where it's like, Trey, just, dude. And I said this, you weren't here. Mm. This is something, you tell me how you feel about this real quick. Okay. What Draymond, Pat Beverly, Dylan Brooks, you know, those type of guys, yeah. Mark Keith Moore, Marcus Smart, yep. you know, those, Bobby Portis, yep. those guys. Mm, yeah. 15 years ago, you know, I'm not even going not in the 90s and 80s. I'm saying 2005, mm -hmm. you know, Robron Artest, yeah, Brad Miller, days. that those guys. What those guys do now, back then, it would have just been another ball player. Right, right. To me, being a goon now is a skill. <laughs> it is something that Draymond has mastered. I think Pat Bev has mastered. I believe Marcus Smart has mastered. I think Bobby Portis kind of got it organically because he got in a fight with his with his you know his uh his teammate. He made Meritage Mer back in the day. Right. Yeah. You know, Dylan Brooks has mastered. Like there's some guys around the league who have mastered the, the the point of being a goon is now a skill to where I can scare people, scare tactics. Yeah. You know, yeah. I can bully my way in for a point. I can bully my way into scaring people, you know, to stay away from my star. I think he's mastered that. I think the problem with Draymond drapes, it goes overboard too many times mm. where I think he has lost the reins of the skill. He's it's like this. He believes in the skill so much. He's lost the control of it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I get it. And I, I also feel like it's gotten to a point where he feels like he has to live up to it. Kind of like that. Mm. He, that's who, who mm. he is. I got you. So I got to, I got to play this role night in and night out. And it, it just seems like he, it, it, it's a caricature. He's gotten too big, you know? And I feel like he's supposed to have went to therapy, got the suspension for 15 games or whatever it was. I don't see a different Draymond. I don't either, you know, and so I just texted you the uh, video from NBC Sports, uh, California or Bay Area from their broadcast. And if you guys go out there right now at NBCS Warriors, check it out. Look at Steph Curry's reaction at the end of that when Draymond is getting ejected and Steph's look and that's Steph's guy. Steph and Draymond, Steph's always rode with him, down with him. That's his guy. But the look on Steph Curry's face, to me, shows, like, even Steph is saying, enough is enough. Dog is 6'6 six, six in the first quarter, 824 left to go. And this is a big game for them. This is a game, you're fighting... The Houston Rockets are what a game and a half behind or a game behind a game, yeah. in the standings. Like you got to get this win tonight. You're right. A game behind the Rockets are on fire right now. They've won nine in a row and you got a tough game against the Orlando magic and you get kicked out and the Rockets play the thunder tonight. That's going to be tough. That's a, yeah, that's a but think about this, Jay warriors lose Rockets win. They're tied. Mm. They're tied in the standings. And so what, there comes a point where if you're Steve Kerr, Steph, the Warriors, where Draymond, and he's a hell of a ball player. Oh, yeah. he's a, I would have taken him on Sacramento before the season started because I, I think his energy, his passion, his toughness, his fight, 
is what this team needs. But when you have a player like that, Jay, you almost got to take the good with the bad. Yeah. You know, it's like he's great, but he's going to do some things that may hurt the team. But if you're the Warriors, are you tired of his hack right now? Like, if you're the Warriors going into this offseason, Clay's up, his contract's up. Yeah. Draymond, he's just signed the new deal. Yes. But are you looking to move on from him after this season? You know, winning cares everything, Drapes. I, I, when you're winning and – you know, a lot of people ask, well, how do you know Draymond is Steph's guy? I'm going to tell you the reason why, because he'd be gone if he wasn't. Yeah. Steph Curry would have been pulled to trigger and said, get this guy out of here. Steph, don't get it twisted. Dre Steph and Clay have been pulling strings for a while. Yeah. And it hasn't been Steve Kerr. And Draymond has been pulling strings as well because he is part of the big three. But you can believe they brought Steph in probably one on one. Like, hey, man, do you want this guy around right. any longer? Yeah. He, 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 he probably rolled for him. I'm not sure post this season that we will see Draymond in a Warriors jersey. I think it was, and I've said this uh, numerous times, the fall of the Warriors are two things. I can trace it back. I think Wiseman yep. are three things. Taking Wiseman over LaMelo, yeah. that's my that's my one one. That, that's my first one. The second one is they're too loyal to a fault. Mm. And it's tough to say that because as sports fans and media, you know, we always talk about people who aren't loyal a lot of times. Not so much me, probably not you, but they were loyal to Iguodala and paid him a lot of money when he wasn't playing. Yeah. They've been loyal to Steph, Clay, and Draymond yeah. in certain instances where Steph totally get it, Clay up to this point totally get it. But last year for Draymond, that was the swan song as yeah. a warrior. Man, we love you. We love you. Right. You are, believe me, you will have a jersey here. It will be raised to the rafters. You've got your four rings. We absolutely love you. We're going to push to get you in the Hall of Fame, which I do believe he is one. But we can't sign you to $100 million right. no more. Yes. Because we need that to go get Bradley Beal. Yeah. We need that to go get Dylan Brooks. Infuse younger talent someone who can do a little more Zach Levine, whatever they're looking for and restart this again. And I think the loyalty drapes is going to bring them down to the point to where I think they had another two, three more years mm. and the Wiseman miss. And I know he's been playing decently up there for but Detroit. Well, yeah. You know, it, that's fine. LaMelo was the guy and right. we, they, who knows where history would have went. He might not, still be hurt. He might not. But you can't tell me if you don't get LaMelo in there with Steph and Clay and, 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 and Draymond, this thing doesn't extend a little further. And if you didn't get Iguodala two for 17 million right. when he wasn't playing and then <laughs> re-upped him, you traded him and then brought him back and was paying him 14, 15 million dollars. Yeah. Nah, you know what he was, Drapes? He was a vet minimum guy. Right. Or or you just like you down as Haslam, Haslam yep. he comes get the vet minimum and you sit on the end of the bench and we let you play like no reason to try to keep intertwining you into this no more. You were mm -hmm. done. You were a coach. Yeah. And here's the thing about the Draymond situation, Jay, and you're a hundred percent right. You didn't need to give him a hundred million. Nope. But you gave him a hundred million <laughs> the season after he punched Jordan Poole mm. in the face. Think about that. Yeah. You paid him. After he derailed your team last season, loyal to a fault. Some would say dumb. Yes. A dumb signing. You could have got Draymond if you wanted to keep him three for 60. He would have taken probably. And if he walked, oh, well, see you later. Deuces. Now you're stuck with him and he's a problem. He just got ejected. 824 left in the first quarter of a big game against the Orlando Magic. All right, coming up next, we continue to talk about that. I see you hanging on, Rob. We'll get to you as well. You're listening to Drapes and Jay. It's the Drive Guys here on Sacktown Sports 1140. Spring is here. Fresh cut grass. The crack of the bat. And that means opening day of the Major League Baseball season. Join us Thursday at 7 for the Oakland A's home opener. Now it turns, here it is. And it's a ground ball toward third. Riley has got it, bobbles it, picks it up, throws to the plate, hit too late, and the A's have won it. It's the A's and Cleveland Guardians, Thursday at 7 in the season opener on Sacktown Sports.
Capital Casino has been serving the greater Sacramento area in the same convenient downtown location for over 20 years with plenty of close by well-lit parking monitored by security staff and offering the most variety of table games in the region in a safe and friendly environment. Best food, best service, and the best action, that's Capital Casino. For more information on tournaments and gaming, check out their website at capital-casino.com. And please remember to gamble responsibly. 1-800-GAMBLER. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Fiddy and Fiber, Dawson Oil Company, and Good Guys Heating and Cooling. Hi, everyone. It's Emron Pilati, host of the True Sports Card Show here on Sacktown Sports 1140 every Saturday at 10 a.m. Would you like a chance to meet Ricky Henderson, Dennis Rodman, Johnny Manziel, Randy Johnson, Frank Thomas, Vlad Guerrero Sr., Dave Stewart, and our favorite Malik Monk and meet over 90 sports card dealers all in one weekend? This is your chance to do it on May 17th through the 19th at the Roseville Fairgrounds at the Sacramento Autograph Expo. You can get all the information about the show on our website at sacautographexpo.com. That's Sac autographexpo.com Beach Head Deli on 711K Street is now your place to go in downtown Sacramento prior to all the games, concerts, and events. Conveniently located just across the street from the arena, Beach Head Deli features the finest gourmet sandwiches and craft beverages anywhere. Beach Head Deli at 711K Street is also your premier lunch destination seven days a week. Come by and say hi to new owner Brad Wakai. He's so excited to take care of all your taste bud needs. That's Beach Head Deli at 711K Street in Sacramento. Ad paid for by America First Tax Group. Attention, if you or your business is behind in filing your tax returns or if you owe over $10,000 in back taxes to the IRS, please listen carefully. The IRS does not joke around and will not stop their collection efforts. If you're tired of the IRS letters, levies, liens, or wage garnishments and would like to get a fresh start, we can help. Due to the financial hardships in the country, the IRS is making it easier than ever to settle tax problems for those who owe more than $10,000. We can help settle your delinquent tax problems and all collections and may even reduce your back taxes significantly. Even if you can't afford to pay your back taxes, you can still get the help you need. We've helped thousands of taxpayers just like you. But you must call 800-257-0663 today to stop your tax problem from getting worse. The information is free and the help is real. Call 800-257-0663. That's 800-257-0663. Again, 800-257-0663. It's time to trade in and trade up at Northern California's number one Honda dealer, Stockton Honda. Whether you're shopping new or pre-owned, Stockton Honda has a selection and savings. Plus, get top dollar for your trade. Come in today or go to StocktonHonda.com. It's all a click away. Anytime, anywhere. It's all here. Number one claim based on 2022 total new and Honda certified pre-owned vehicle car sales from American Honda Motor Company's own report. Calling all sports fans. Experience the ultimate game day atmosphere at Fieldhouse, Sacramento's premier sports bar. With TV scattered throughout the pub, you'll never miss a moment of the action. From football and basketball to baseball, MMA, boxing, and beyond. Voted as the number one sports bar in Sacramento, we're your destination for all things sports. Swing by our convenient location at 1310 Fulton Avenue, or you can order online for delivery or pickup. Join us at Fieldhouse American Sports Pub, where every game is front and center. Yeah, we got the NFL. You know, we the home of the 49ers as well. Got the NFL draft coming up in just a little bit. A couple weeks here, Jay, a few weeks. And uh, our guy, Mil Fragoso, working on some special projects. 
Uh, we'll tell you about that when it comes up. But back to the Sacramento Kings, Draymond Green as well. If you want to weigh in, 916-339-1140. Top story, the Kings lose badly to the Dallas Mavericks last night, but a chance to atone for their mistakes coming up on Friday. Also, Draymond getting ejected, 824 to go in the first, arguing calls. I'm <laughs> like, bruh, why are you so upset? And it's a Man. 6-6 ball game. Like, I don't, I'm telling you, man, he, he is like the the potential wannabe goon. Like he's almost the, the, the wannabe tough guy. And it's tough to call him that because he's done it so long. You got to give him his love and turn it out into a skill, Drace. But it's almost at the point like, you know what, man? You was a bully when we was in fifth and sixth, seventh grade. Right. And now we're in high school, and I grew a little bit bigger, and I'm my chest is out. You know, the 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 girlies like me a little more because I'm on right. the basketball floor. I grew another four inches. Nobody afraid of you no more. Like I'm good. Anything you say to me, I'm gonna say back to right. you. And I think that's the what the league is telling Dre. And we know Dre been limited with his skills anyway. Yeah. You know, right. um, that's why I say he's always taking advantage of being a goon. Like that is a skill for him. And, and I also think too, Jay. As your skills erode, you got to find other ways. Recreate to yourself. Recreate yourself. Snoop. Exactly. Snoop. <laughs> exactly. But Snoop did it the right way. He did. Like, Draymond is an aging guy whose skills have eroded. So it's like being that old dude on the basketball court. You got the young kids. And they run in circles around you. And what you start doing, you get frustrated. So the kids go to the hole. You slap them on the arm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or you get a little hard foul. Get your drape on them. That's what I'm <laughs> I'm just saying, and not that it's happened to me before, or not that I'm that dude or anything like that. Are oh, you still hooping? I hooped this uh, last Sunday. What? At the Lifetime out in Folsom. Come on, bro. Nah. Yes. You want Sal Paul and them boys? I got to get it back. Man. Kenny yeah. Anderson? Yeah. Well, what's your game looking like these uh, days? I'm like Anthony Mason. Remember Anthony? Oh, yeah, of course. Come yeah, on. That's my game. Larry Johnson, maybe. Oh, a little grandma, uh, grandma Ma. Yeah, the, oh, not, not okay, them Converse Larry, Arrow James. Yeah, Arrow yeah. Jams. I got you. Yeah, but I'm still sore, though, from it, though, Jay. That's my well, problem. I mean, brother, you almost The recovery 50. time isn't uh, like what it used to be. You need the Balco. I need the Balco. Yeah. I need the, <laughs> the clear <laughs> decree. The clear decree. <laughs> You're right. I need Mr. Miyagi or something. So, wait, but, real quick. Yeah. Uh, is this a point of training? Are you trying to get into a league, or what are we doing here? I'm you staying in it. shape, or what, I, what's I'm the next move, big dog? So, they got the 35 and older league. Okay. Play on okay. Thursdays. Yeah. Yep. I'm thinking about it, dude, because the King's schedule is about to end. So Absolutely. I'll be much more free. And so I'm thinking about it, man. It's uh, your boy. Here's the thing about the season, man. I gained 10 to 15 pounds each season. Yeah, man. You're on that per diem, bro. You're on that per diem. <laughs> you got food everywhere, Jay. Like, it's a smorgasbord <laughs> out there. And trust me, I indulge in it all. Yeah. Desserts. Meals you on the plate. Taste tested it all. I'm taste tested it all. And so your boy needs to. Get back in shape. Okay. And so basketball is my thing, man. I like that. But here's the problem, though. And I'm I'm not as good as I used to be. I'm solid. I'm respectful. Of course, man. Yeah, nobody My is. problem is what the Kings are missing is what I get. Oh, what's that? I'm a competitor. Bro. Okay. Okay. I am a competitor. Got into, I don't want to say a fight, but it almost came to blows. Not this last week, but a, a couple Wait of months a ago. Wait a minute. Me? Recreational who? Yes. Did they know? Did did they understand in this this Kobe game? But did they understand who they was disrespecting? Uh, I don't know if they did. They didn't recognize the face. Maybe they did, but and they did try to come at you. No, I think I might have instigated it though. I'm oh, like, you got to break this down. We got time. We got all the time, time in the world. All right, we got Jason Anderson coming up at five fifteen. Let me explain the situation. Game goes to 12, twos and ones. Okay. Now, paint the picture. Are, are you at lifetime? Lifetime. Okay, for sure. And we getting our butts handed to us a little bit. It's like eight to one, something like that. Sort of like the Kings last night. Sort of like we said, man, we wish Mike Brown would go Bob Knight. Mm -hmm. Mike Brown would go Greg Popovich. Well, I took matters into my own hand. And you know how you check the ball up and then the guy throws it in or whatever? For sure. Well, I checked the ball. But then I go up to him, and I'm like, oh, all over okay. Him. You hit him all with the Matt, the Matt Barnes. The Matt Barnes, <laughs> exactly. He tried to Kobe me, you know, and it didn't work. <laughs> He's like, come on, man. Why are you up all on me? I'm like, bro, the line is right here. You can move back, but the line is right here. I'm allowed to come up, and it kind of pissed him off. So he pushed me. I pushed him. 
And then I think we won that game, actually. We came down back. eight one. Yes, we were down eight one. We came back, won the game, and I told him to take his butt off to the side. Inside those lines, man, it's just, it's a different. He was life. fired up, baby. It was it. it I like the. I'm not Kevin Garnett fired up, but yeah, man, it's it's so much so that some guys are like, Kyle, calm down. It's just a game. And you know me, once you once you get to that level, Jay, I smell blood. Right. I, I don't want to hear mate. right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk. Hey, don't talk to me. <laughs> you know, you go talk to him. I'm playing. And, and my son was there at that. <laughs> oh, what okay. Call where is, this, call where is this Kyle Draper when the Kings are getting blown out by 30 on third quarter? You know, with two minutes left in the third quarter, national TV. Nah. I need you to jump out your seat. Like we've right. asked for Mike Brown, <laughs> man, get tossed out, baby. I need you to get tossed. Take the five for the Kings. It, it's it's usually you see it to come out on the post game show. Yeah, that's, that's where that's, that's where true. that energy during the game is tough, man. I'm just sitting there seething right there, just sitting so on it. After after you you get Matt Barnes on Big Dog, and then he check y'all, you know, check the ball out. All of a sudden, y'all come back a one. How much are you really talking? Like, I mean, you know, we got to keep it clean. But how much are you really going over the top? Like, get up out of here. Or you just follow dude to the door. Or you like, get off my court. Like, where are you going with it? Uh, I'm I'm more talking to my teammates. But talking to him. But talking to I them. Got you. I'm like, they're not ready for this. Yeah. They didn't want this smoke. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get them out of here. Who next? Who got next? You know, that's how I am. <laughs> I ain't up in dude's face or anything like that. And it's funny. I'm playing. uh I'm playing uh, <laughs> the other day at Lifetime, and this is the kind of guy I am when I play ball. You would hate to play against me. Oh, my son's calling me right now. Jay, I'm going to text you my son's number here. Straight up. And, and we're going to get him on the phone uh, because he was there, and uh, I, I, he was kind of embarrassed. Was he? Yeah, he, he was kind of embarrassed. See, that's not the Philly Draper. That's, yeah. the, that's, the, that's the Folsom yeah. <laughs> Suburb Draper. Uh, th th yeah. So I, um, this past weekend, I'm the type of guy when I D somebody up, I'm in their face. What you going to do? I like that. It's just me and you go yeah. for it. I dare you. You ain't got, you know, I'm talking, I'm talking at lifetime at lifetime. I like it though. At lifetime. Let's take a quick break. Jay. Okay. We're going to get my son on the phone. He's going to tell us what he thought about the time. Dad almost got into a fight <laughs> at lifetime. That's what we do here on drive guys. You're listening to Sacktail sports 1140. Chill group is not a law firm. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley financial group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. We've helped over 30,000 families out of financial hardship by getting them out of bad timeshares. If your timeshare agreement goes on forever, if you were told timeshares are a great investment or your maintenance fees will never go up, you have questions, we have the answer. The NFL's leading rusher plays here. The handoff to McCaffrey walks in the end zone. Handoff to McCaffrey, takes it right down to the goal line. He does his thing again. McCaffrey goes in motion right. Backwards pass led by Juszczyk. A block there. Hurdles the man. 10, 5, touchdown! C M C. You can hear all of Christian McCaffrey's touchdowns on your home for 49ers football. Sacktown Sports. For a precision-crafted performance, the decision is easy. A new Acura from Acura of Stockton. Get the driving experience you've been waiting for in a new Acura. Get the best selection and customer service you deserve from Acura of Stockton. Shop in person or use our online express store at acuraofstockton.com. Acura of Stockton will buy your trade, even if you don't buy from us. Don't settle for less than precision crafted performance of a new Acura from Acura of Stockton and acuraofstockton.com. At Ashton and Price, over the last 25 years, we've won just about every injury case you can think of. Slip and fall, falling merchandise, fell through rotted decking, we won those. Dangerous stairs, falls into holes, dog bites, won them. Injured while pedestrian or on a bicycle, auto, motorcycle, big rig, company vehicle, Uber, or Lyft accident, we've won them all. And the best news is there's no fee until you win. So no matter how you got injured, 
Remember, for the best advice, don't think twice. Call Ashton and Price. Are you stressing about your IRS tax problems? Have you received notices from the IRS threatening to garnish your wages, levy your bank accounts, or seize your property? You need an ally. Allies Tax Relief has tax attorneys and enrolled agents that are ready to fight for you. They have saved millions for taxpayers just like you. Allies Tax Relief can help put a stop to IRS collections and most importantly, negotiate your tax debt. Here's Brenda, a happy client of Allies Tax Relief. I owe the IRS around $57,000 and they're about to start garnishing my paychecks. I heard a commercial on the radio about Allies Tax Relief, so I thought I'd give them a call. After a day, they were able to at least stop the garnishments. And after a few months of negotiations, I walked away owing the IRS only $301. If you owe the IRS, call Allies Tax Relief right now for your free consultation. Call 800-230-5174. 800-230-5174. That's 800-230-5174. Discover your dream home at Subcontractors United, your source for all home improvement needs. A talented team of home services experts is ready to make your projects a breeze. No more endless internet searches. Find your contractors in one place. Enjoy stress-free service at absolutely free with no hidden costs and no accounts to set up transform your living space into something extraordinary visit subcontractors united today and experience the joy of hassle-free home improvement dream big at subcontractorsunited.com golf to go is brought to you by the hagen oaks golf super shop here's frank la rosa tim walsh director of sales for bridgestone golf was excited to talk about the new line of tour b golf balls Bridgestone has been making golf balls since 1935, and their philosophy was to serve society with superior quality. All these years later, quality is not in question. While we as players tend to settle on a ball that will increase our distance or one that will enhance feel, the Tour B line of golf balls delivers both distance and feel through their new reactive smart cover and mid-layer. PGA Tour player Jason Day assisted on the development of Mindset, which is a visual cue on the golf ball, to remind you of a three-step process. First is to identify your target, then visualize the shot path, and then focus on the dot, which helps to clear your mind and execute the shot you visualized. Mindset is available on the full line of Bridgestone Tour B golf balls. To learn more, visit BridgestoneGolf.com. That's your golf to go. I'm Frank LaRosa. Hey guys, do you know your tea level? Revive Men's Health here in Sacramento is helping you take that first step toward better health and enhanced intimacy with a free testosterone level test, exam, and consultation. Plus, for this month only, qualified patients can kickstart their treatment with a free supply of ED medication. Revive's customized ED treatments can provide immediate results, restore blood flow naturally, and even bring spontaneity back into your love life. With both in-person and telemedicine appointments available, plus free shipping directly to you, Revive takes the hassle out of treating low T and ED. Having an optimal testosterone level can change your whole life, and it starts with knowing your T level. Take that first step and book your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. And kickstart your treatment with a free supply of ED medication this month only. Call Revive Men's Health Sacramento at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566 or visit revivemenshealth.com. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios. KHTKAM Sacramento. KYMX HD2 Sacramento. Sacramento's official home for the San Francisco 49ers. Touchdown! San Francisco! Set down sports. The only station in Sacramento giving you local sports coverage from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Sacktown Sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got that 21 Savage playing as Drapes and Jay. Drive guys here. Final hour, 916-339-1140. I see you on the text line, YouTube. Coming up in about 15 minutes, we got Jason Anderson of the Sacramento Bee, but we're talking about pickup basketball, Jay Johnson. <laughs> and, you know, I'm a nice guy, man, hardworking. Everybody come up, Drapes, how you doing? I greet everybody. That's you straight. Know, I've been Everybody's here. my guy. But when it comes to the basketball court, I turn into the Tasmanian devil. <laughs> I'm like Kevin Garnett out there. Grabbing balls out the air. I'm like, like, give me that. You know, I'm talking some major trash. That's what's up. And one guy who knows 
exactly how I am on the court is my son, Nick. He's going to jump on with us. He ready? He ready. Nick ready here. Nick, what's up, baby? Yeah. How you doing, man? I'm good. How are you? Good. Did you hear that song we played? Jay played it just for you. Did you hear that when we came back? I did hear that. All right. So let me ask you this, son. You know, we like yeah. to tell the truth. You're not going to get yeah. in trouble. I want you to be 100% honest. Remember when we were hooping at Lifetime and dad almost got, got into a little disagreement with a player there? Take the people yeah. at home through that. What exactly happened and how did that make you feel? So I, what I think, like what I remember is like you were um, checking up with him and he was like, I, I'm not 100% sure what happened, but I remember also that he was like fouling you like a bunch and it was like not like soft fouls, but it was like hard fouls. And then he did this one check, and like he like when he was checking it up to you, he didn't really. Um, so it wasn't like a fair check. And then like you guys just started like shoving each other, and then like you had to get broken up by like everyone else on the court. <laughs> now, 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 it wasn't quite Draymond Green like though, right? It was I, I was calmer than oh, yeah. Draymond, right? I mean, yeah, compared to Draymond, you was like it like nothing even happened. But, <laughs> like it, it was like. It, it escalated a little like it was like shoving and then it turned to like actually like serious i can tell you that you were getting like heated did we win that game do you remember if we won or lost oh no yeah we smoked them after that exactly see? you see and, and nick this is what i'm talking about for the sacramento kings when somebody's beating you you sometimes have to use motivation get motivated somehow and for me i looked at this guy right across from me when i checked the ball and i said you know what i don't like you and that sort of motivated me. And then we got the win. Last question, Nick. How did it make you feel, though, to see your dad almost get into a brawl? Um, I mean. And you could be honest. You could be honest. Yeah. When I first, like, I, I didn't know if it was, like, you were kind of, like, playing around. But then you started to, like, raise your voice at him, too. And then I knew that's when it was, like, serious. And I almost went. <laughs> I almost wanted to, like, go in there and, like, join you and start pushing him as well. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking about. I see. Like, he, was, he was, whenever, like, he was trying to set a screen, like, on me and, like, because obviously, like, I was, like, the youngest one there. But whenever he was trying to set a screen, he was, like, grabbing my shirt, too, and he was, like, pulling me around. See, I, see man, who was this cat? I don't know, man, but he, he, it was, he was doing some illegal screens. That's gotcha. Right. And I'm like, yo, that's illegal. I'm pointing it out. That's Ill illegal. He's like, no, it's not. Now, mind you, Jay. It's some Yahoo. His highest level of plan is at lifetime with me. Yes, like, sir. That's his claim to fame. Right. He's not and even on little he, Nick balling in high school right, already. Nick, Nick in high school on the freshman team at Vista. Shout out Vista. Vista. So this Yahoo trying to explain the rules to me. And I'm like, dude, I talk about the rules every day. Like, and so it, it raised the level of intensity. Oh. And uh, we, we smoked them. We, we got them out of there. And, uh, but that's what the Kings need. Nick, I'm, I, I, yeah. I like, can I ask Nick a question? Yeah, you Do you mind if I ask Nick ahead, a question? Ask him a question, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Nick, man, because you get to play ball and you, you, you've you been around uh, Pops all your life. It, you know, we get to see Pops all day. Do you, uh, when have you felt the comfortableness in moving to Sacramento? Like, how are you enjoying Sacramento knowing who your dad is? Um, I feel like, no, like knowing who he is, I felt like a lot more comfortable. Like, I still miss. I still miss like back home, but it's sure. definitely like definitely I've gotten a lot more comfortable than like say like a year ago. Man, that's okay. what's up. That's my We've accepted guy. him. Yes, yes, he's a Kings fan. But here's the problem, Nick. And I love you, and I'm gonna put you on blast. No, he's, wait a boy, hold no, on. Oh, 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 Dude, you, him on. Don't don't put him on blast about changing teams or anything no, else. He's still rocking with the Celtics. He's supposed to. So when the Kings go to Boston next week and play the Celtics, who should he be cheering for? Cheering for his father, but the Celtics. Yeah. <laughs> don't, because this is the thing. See, I don't know, and I don't want to tell you, I don't want to tell you history, Drapes. So I'll let you tell yeah. your son this, but you ain't always been a, a fan of one team at, a, at every point in time in your life. So you can't talk about young Drapes like that. You're right. You're right. Hey, hey Nick, that's the only thing I'm going to say, big fella. Thank you for coming on the show, but take your butt to bed, okay? <laughs> You're on the East Coast right now. It's eight o'clock out there. Take your butt to bed. I ain't even ate dinner yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love you, man. I'll see you when you get back. We'll talk tonight. All right, love you. All right, love you. Uh, see, my guy right there. I like that, though. Yeah, man. But see, this is the thing, Drapes. You're not only talking about it, you're living it. 
Right. It's not on the king's level. We get it. We understand. But you can't. You're not a hypocrite. You're right. saying something, you know, you're asking for something from the Kings and the organization and the coaches and everything else, but you're also out here living it. Yeah, and it, it yeah. lets me know, you know, you're walking and talking, but at the same time, if you was rocking the Kings jersey, which you had, you're rocking the Kings polo. Right. You're not right. rocking the Kings jersey. Yeah. You in for the fight. You in it to win it. Right. Like you said, you here to win. And so it, I, it's refreshing to hear that because truly, how many times have we said this? numerous times here where is the fight from this team right just and i know they want to win i know they're prepared to a certain extent i know they're not going out there shaving points and losing or whatever you want to call it but sometimes just as you just told your son sometimes it takes that right you gotta go to the next level get motivated And, and, and that's the thing too jay it's you know i want to know see that's in me does it have yes. to be in like, can yes. you, is that something you learn or is that you just got to be born with that? I think to answer your question quickly for me, I think it has, it's something in you, man. Mm, right. It and, is. And, and and that's why we say Monty go out there and get a Dylan Brooks or Marky more Marcus Morris, mm-hmm. uh, you know, somebody, because I love our guys, but they're nice guys. They're good dudes. You need, and I forget who we had on the show a couple of weeks ago. He said exactly that. You need somebody like a Tony Allen back stir it up. to stir it mm-hmm. up to a Pat Beverly. Pat somebody Beth. said exactly. Pat Beverly is who you guys need. You know, they did. And t- they mentioned Tony Allen. I can't remember who yeah. that was. Yeah. We got so was many guys. Perk on. Or I can't remember who it, it might have been. Perk who jumped yeah, on who said that. Like, t- and it's funny because I-, I said this and pulling back the curtain. We have uh Derek Harper on tomorrow. Yes. Who's a TV analyst for the Mavs. And D Harp is one of those guys that is in your face. I'm going to go get it. Yeah, I'm going to talk to yeah. you. You know, you got to prove it to me. And I know he's old school, but it popped in my mind. Check this out, Drapes. And uh, a ball player told me this. And I'm not going to drop their name because you could take it however you want to. Mm-hmm. But they said there's three type of people. You have an initiator, mm. a responder. And a person who ducks, right? Ooh. And so I'll break it down to you this way. The initiator is just what you are. Mm-hmm. You say something to me, I'm going to say something back to you. You know, I'm checking your temperature. Right. I want to see if you really about that smoke, yeah. about that life, as you always say. Are you really about that right. life? Right. I want to see if I if I body you up, look you in your eye, and tell me you can't take me to the cup no more, right? Right. That's initiator. That's the rah rah guy. That's the Draymond. That's the Pat Bevs. Yep. Bobby Portis is then you have the guy when I see that oh I'm going with you oh that's my dude I'm going with the, oh Dre fired up guess what you just got me even more fired up right right that's the per that's your that's your wingman yep and then you have the person who sees it and they like oh I don't, I don't you know what yeah. yeah you know I'm man man let's just play ball you know that's it's that guy. You know, like, dude, can fellas, can we just can we keep it right. clean? Can we just come on, guys. We just out here having yeah, fun. Absolutely. Right. You you're one of those three, and that and in reality, when that can be compared to anything in life, and that's why I started the aggressor, the the responder, responder you know, right. versus the ducker. You can put that in any walks in life, but in sports, that to me tells me something about you. You don't always have to be Draymond. But guess what? When Draymond get off the hook, Clay got to go with him, too. Got to go with him, too. You know what I mean? And so that's where it I I can't figure that out with the Kings is I think Malik's that guy. Right. I think Trey Lyles is that guy, but I'm not 100 percent sure. So we don't have the aggressor in my mind. Right. We have a lot of responders. Responders. But who's going to get us there? Correct. And guess what normally happens for me, Drapes, is this. The other team is normally the aggressor. They're the one who normally is looking in the king's eye and say, you ain't going to do that. Yeah, You can't take us to the cup. Guess what? We came to your court on national TV, Greg Anthony, mm. Michael Grady, Draper sitting right there. I don't TNT, Charles, Chuck, all yeah. these people talking. We going to test you guys. Right. And the, the kings didn't respond. And I think for me, I'm speaking for myself, and I believe for certain people here in Sacramento and can't part of the King's Kingdom, it's it's frustrating. Right, right, right. 
Yeah, we're going to talk to Jason Anderson about that very thing as well. The Kings just did not respond to what the Mavericks were bringing last night. Plus, we'll get into the De'Aaron Fox comments after the game. Fox was asked by Jason Anderson about being a leader, facing the media after games, answering questions. And De'Aaron had some very interesting comments. We'll play it for you next year on The Drive Guys at Sacktown Sports, 1140. <laughs> The Oakland A's open the 2024 season at home Thursday against the Cleveland Guardians. Swung on and missed. That's the way this ball game is. First pitch at 7 on Sacktown Sports. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawon'twait.com. The Drive Guys powering your afternoons Monday through Friday on Sacktown Sports. Back here on the Drive Guys Sacktown Sports. 1140 coming up in just a minute. Jason Anderson of the Sacramento Bee to talk about last night's game. Also to talk about the question he had for De'Aaron Fox on the post game show. I got a couple of TVs going watching NBA basketball right now. And the Sixers are up big, up 12 on the Clippers as James Harden just knocked down a three and got fouled. And I think they're going to look at this one as well. But tonight we're all rooting for the Sixers. I would imagine because I still think the Kings have an outside chance at catching the Clippers and maybe even getting that six or five seed in the Western Conference. All right, last night the Kings took a, a rough loss, man. I, I just mean rough loss last night to the Dallas Mavericks, 132 to 96. De'Aaron Fox had 18 points in that game, five rebounds and three assists. But nobody really talking about his play today they're talking about his answer to a Jason Anderson question. Jay, do we have the question too, or is it just the answer? Because I, I need to set this up. De'Aaron Fox went to the podium post game and uh, met with reporters. And here's the uh, question and answer from Jason Anderson and De'Aaron Fox. This is after last night's loss to the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, De'Aaron, we've uh, for quite a while now you've come out and, and, you know, addressed like some of your bigger and, and, you know, maybe more difficult losses. Is this like something you're kind of making a point of doing um, for, for some reason in turn, you know, just leading this team and, and kind of showing that accountability. And as and far all. as talking to y'all. Yeah. Just, you I don't know, get, I don't get shit out of that. Okay. I don't get nothing out of that. They asked me, I do it. But for the team, do you, is there, is, is it, so it really doesn't mean anything. In terms they don't, they don't just, do a shit. I come up here and talk. I'll tell you that, but no, nah, I mean, I, Michael asked me, I, I did. Michael or Shannon asked me, I, I do it. Okay. Well, they're yeah, good. I, I get no joy in this after a win or a loss. Uh, my team doesn't care if I come up here in a blowout win or a blowout loss. So sorry I brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Wow. Wow. That's De'Aaron Fox after the game. And here's what I'll say about De'Aaron Fox in, in that whole situation Fox was a little spicy with the, that answer. I don't know if he would have reacted the same way had they won the game, but he was clearly a little spicy, maybe didn't like the question, but he was being honest and he was being truthful. And I'm a, I'm a okay with that. I always say, be who you are. And if people don't like it, oh, well, but at least you're being who you are. And so let's get Jason Anderson on the phone right now. He writes for the sacks B he's the sports editor there. Jason, you're my guy. 
Thanks for coming on the drive, guys. Anytime, Drapes. What's up, buddy? You you tell me, man. I know it was a tough <laughs> loss last night. Uh, not the way Kings fans wanted to see their team respond. Luca comes in, you know, is smiling, chumming it up with the officials, laughing. Kyrie is hitting three after three. Before we get into the question you asked uh, De'Aaron Fox, what did you make of last night's game, and how disappointing was it, was that for the Sacramento Kings? Yeah, I mean, it was disappointing uh, for the Kings that they had, um, you know, I think that the big thing last night was it, it was a, you know, it, it was a, it was a big step back defensively uh, for them. They've been so good uh, in recent weeks in March. In fact, uh, going into last night's game, they were fourth in the NBA in defensive rating, uh, which is just an incredible uh, feat for this team, given where they came from and, and, you know, Mike's efforts to, to coach them up on that end of the floor. Uh, their their three point defense, which has been down like twenty eight, twenty nine, thirtieth in the league, uh, was thirteenth um, over the last you know like, like since the, the start of March. Uh, so that's one area that he has really had to work hard um, in terms of like coaching the the closeout techniques that they like to use. Um, and and you know they <clears throat> this team lacks a little bit of um size length athleticism and some of those like like wing spots and, and getting out to contest threes which makes it uh tech which makes the technique really important and so these guys really have to stay locked in and focused on on the techniques that, that you know the coaches are asking them to, to you know to use and and um you know go about defending the three-point line that way and i think last night they, there was just some slippage there which happens from time to time um but but you know i think all in all um, everybody, you know, has been really encouraged <clears throat> with the way they've been defending recently. And, and, you know, I think they can, they can get back to that, um, you know, going forward, hopefully uh, for them starting on Friday. You know, Jason, when I look at this Mavericks team, this is a different Mavericks team than we saw earlier in the season. I mean, the, their length that they now have, you know, I, I looked it up, Derek Jones, Jr. Wingspan, seven feet. Dante Exum, he's six five, but he's a six nine uh wingspan. PJ Washington, seven two and a half. Daniel Gafford, seven two point two five inch wingspan. Derek yeah. Lively, seven eight. Do we need to take this Mavericks team seriously as a threat in the Western Conference as a threat to our hopes of a top six seed going into Friday? Yeah, certainly, yeah, you do. I mean, <clears throat> they're in the six seed right now and, and you know and, and the, the you didn't mention Luka Doncic and, and Kyrie Irving. Yeah. Um, so, you know, any team with those two guys, you've got to take seriously. And they've, they've done a nice job of, of putting some pieces around them that have, have taken them to another level. So, yeah, they're right in the mix. I would expect it to be probably Dallas and Sacramento fighting it out for that sixth seed with, with Phoenix kind of on the outside uh, looking in, in my opinion. Have you looked at the last 10 games, and what do you think the Kings need to go over these final 10? Me and Jay were talking. We said at worst six and four, ideally seven and three over these last 10 to get a top six seed. You know, I have not, um, and, and, and I haven't compared it to, you know, to, to Dallas and Phoenix's last 10 either. I, I do know that the Kings have, um, at least that last check, which was a week or so ago, they still had one of the tougher remaining schedules. Yeah. Third uh, toughest. Phoenix, yep. Yeah. Oh, is that what it is now? Yeah, third okay. toughest now, yeah. Well, Phoenix was way up there, too, last I checked. I don't know where they're at They're currently. at number but, one now. Okay, yep. so, yeah. And, and so I've been saying for a while, I think the Kings are going to end up ahead of Phoenix. And, and you know, Dallas is, is surging a little bit. And, and so now, you know, we'll see it's a little bit of a horse race. I don't know exactly what it's going to take. But it, it is pretty clear. It's going to, in my mind, it's going to come down to those teams. Rocking with Jason Anderson, sports editor of the SAG B, and of course, SAG B, the Sacramento Kings uh, beat writer. Jason, before, of course, we talk about the De'Aaron Fox question and all that, I want to ask, and this is something I asked Drapes and Whitey yesterday, what is the end all be all for this season? And I know we're looking ahead, but what would you be okay with? A first round exit? Would, would a failure be losing in the play in? What are you looking for that you would think would be deemed successful? No, I mean, successful. Like you, you, you have to get to the playoffs. They want to get to the playoffs, right? I mean, like that, that's, that's success. You got there last year. You need to at least get back there this year. You know, every year is different, right? So we knew that this team could be the same as it was last year. It could even maybe be a little better and not necessarily finish as well in the standings or win as many games because, 
<clears throat> other teams are going to get better as well. And then, you know, they've had better health, like some of the teams um, from last year that, that really kind of didn't meet expectations. Um, those teams were, were really hurt and, and not, um, you know, they had a lot of their stars miss games. And, and so this year has been, you know, kind of a different animal. And, <clears throat> and we always knew that was possible. Uh, so, you know, but, but look, you don't want to regress. You want to get to the, the first round at least. Um, I think for Mike and the guys, they want to win um, and, and advance in the playoffs. I think ultimately that would be what they would probably define as success. But we, you know, we know that uh, teams have journeys and, and, you know, and, and sometimes you have to, Mike always talks about adversity and, and kind of learning from those experiences. And, you know, that, that may be what this year ends up being is, is maybe they get back to the first round. Maybe they, you know, maybe they win, maybe they don't. Um, but really for me, I just want, I, I think success, um, if I really had to say, like, this, this, getting better defensively is, is a huge step for this group. And, and we don't know what the group's going to look like going forward. But, you know, as Mike has, has said many times, like, you don't win championships. You don't make deep playoff runs if you can't be good defensively. And, and so for them to kind of make these strides that they seem to be making recently, um, that to me is already like a, a big, big step in the right direction. Jason Anderson, sports editor of the SAC B, joining us here on the Drive Guys, Sacktown Sports, eleven forty. Jason, you know what can you tell us about this Sasha Vazankov situation? I mean, the dude's been questionable for a couple of weeks. I thought he'd be back by now. I know he's been practicing. He's been warming up. Like, what can you tell us about Sasha and how desperately could they use him right now with Trey Lyles out, with Kevin Herter out? Yeah, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's been a little bit unusual. Um, he's been listed as questionable for, I think, five games now. Yeah. Um, and, and you know, you don't normally see that. You might see it, you know, one or two or three games. And, and then, you know, usually um, at that point they're they're back. Um, but, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's dragged on a little bit. And, I, I you know, I can't really say I know a whole lot about it. We haven't talked to Sasha Um recently because when guys are hurt and, and out like there, you know, there are no like media obligations or anything for them uh, when, when they're not active. So we, we really, I don't know anything firsthand from Sasha. I've, I've, uh, I've talked to them uh, or I've talked to him kind of on occasion and, and, you know, and he just kind of gives me, you know, responses like, yeah, I getting better. We're working on it and, and stuff like that. But yeah, they could use him. Their power forward depth is, uh, is being tested right now. Um, really, I think they, they need Trey back. Like I, when, if, and when Trey gets back out there, I really think he's going to, he's going to help the group. Um, Sasha, you know, we'll see like how good a shape he's in, like what he, he can do like, but, but Trey is kind of the guy I really think can, can, um, definitely help him, uh, when, when he gets back on the floor. Jason, something that, uh, Drapes has, uh, he's been leaning on, he, he's been, He's been politicking, you know, we're in the year of the politics, 2024, Jason. He's been politicking <laughs> that De'Aaron and, and Keon has the potential. And correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, Drapes, I'm using the proper word, the potential to be the best defensive backcourt in the NBA. Ooh. What says Jason Anderson? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Potential. Well, uh, I said potential. Yeah. I mean, I see where you're, I see where you're coming from. I'll say that. Um, like Keon is, is, uh, don't have to lie been... to him, Jason, real quick, because look, <laughs> look, I know Drapes is your guy, and he's and you're no, his guy. No, he was trying to answer the question. No, let because him the you question. put your hands in the air, so that let me know you've had this conversation <laughs> Not or something. At all. Okay, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna I'm remove myself, right, Jason. What's your answer? Okay, well, I, I, uh, you know, I don't, I, whether they can be the best defensive backcourt in the league, I don't know, but I do think they can be a very, very good backcourt. I think they already are. I mean. Aaron is what one or, or one and two in the league in, in just uh, steals and deflections, mm -hmm. I believe. Um, and Keon is outstanding defensively. He's um, you talk about length and wingspans. Like he's he's a he's a big time wingspan guy with good athleticism and quickness and hands and like all these things. And so <clears throat> really, Keon has been a huge huge part of, of their defense. Uh, you know, kind of going to another level. And, and they went from. I don't know. Like, uh, I guess the best way to put it is, you know, now you've got you've got Domas, who's the best rebounder in the league, and you've got Fox, Keon, and Keegan, who are all I, I would say plus perimeter defenders. And this is a huge credit to Fox because this is not where he started. Like he was not 
a great defender his first couple of years in the league. He always had that potential. Um, but this was a team that just gave up straight line drive after straight line drive for, for years and, and no matter who was on the team. <clears throat> and so for Fox to get to this point where, you know, he's showing us what he's, he can do defensively, it, you know, they're at a point now where they've got three really good perimeter defenders and the best rebounder probably in the league. Um, and that has, uh, <clears throat> I think that's why we're seeing their, their defense, uh, you know, take another step and uh, Fox and Keon being back there. Uh, plus Keegan and the strides he's made this year are, are a huge part of that. Jason Anderson joining us of the SAC B. Uh, Jason, let's get to the question you asked De'Aaron Fox last night. We played it uh, coming back from commercial just now. What led to that line of questioning? What were you trying to get at with that, my guy? Yeah, you know what? It was, <clears throat> honestly, it was meant as a compliment. And this is something I've been uh, kind of had in my mind for a while now because ever everybody's going to remember the, the, the period of time where he wasn't speaking to the media. Okay. And that all stemmed from one night where he didn't come out. They actually put Keon on the podium. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, Keon, who I think was still on a two way contract at the time. And they bring Keon out to answer for a, a really bad uh, loss. And, you know, there were questions, you know, in the media, like I didn't make a big deal about it personally, but there were questions about the team's leadership and accountability that night. And, um, you know, I think Fox took that a certain way because as it turned out, like the, the team had not even asked him to come out and address the media. It wasn't like he said no. Mm. And so I think his, his, you know, 16 day like media silence at that time really stemmed from like, it wasn't necessarily frustrations with us in the media. It was just the situation where like he was sort of being criticized, um, you know, maybe unfairly when he hadn't even been asked to come out and, and, and speak. So he, you know, ever since then, I've noticed after pretty much every loss, certainly the bad ones or the difficult ones, like Fox is out there front and center. He's answering the questions. He's standing up for his team. And I've been impressed by that. Like that, I, I maybe I should have prefaced the whole question that way by telling him, look, this is, you know, don't take this the wrong way. Um, but, right. but, you know, I think he, look, he tried, I think he took the, the opening, to steer like his response was that if I'm asked, I'm going to come out and, and do this, whether I, you know, like to do it or don't like to do it. <clears throat> he said, if I'm asked, I'll come out. And, and that's, so that's, he took it that way. And with some colorful language, it was kind of a really in the room. It was kind of a funny, like everybody's laughing and smiling about it. Like it wasn't anything, you know, things take on a life of their own on social media. Yeah. And then, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> you know, but it, I didn't think it was really contentious. I didn't have any problem with his answer. Like, I do think he has demonstrated leadership and I thought he might want to like talk yeah, about that or get into that, uh, just because of the way he is kind of leading this team. Um, another example of that is the way he has bought into what Mike wants to do on defense. Um, he's been one of the main guys <clears throat> as offensive as, as Fox is, he's been one of the main guys, like really echoing Mike's thoughts about defense. So I've been, personally impressed with De'Aaron's leadership and, and um, I thought he might, you know, take the conversation that way when I posed the question. Um, maybe I could have, could have worded it differently. Um, but, but I, you know, I'm not trying to steer anybody in any, he can answer that question any way he wants. And he chose to, you know, make the point that, look, if I'm asked, I'm going to come out um, and, and, you know, and I'm fine with that. There it is right there. And, and, and exactly. And, and because you asked the question, now we know. We can go back to January. If the Aaron Fox not at the podium, he probably wasn't asked to come out. You know, he was and, not. Right. We know that for it, a fact, it, and that's what that was. Exactly. Appreciate it, Jason. Man, thanks for clearing that up. And like you said, once things get on social media, they can sort of take a, a on a life of its own. I'm glad we got you on here to just set the record straight. Appreciate you. We'll see you Friday at the game, man. Yes, sir. Anytime. You guys be good. All right. Jason Anderson, sports editor at the Sacramento Bee, jumping on the drive, guys. Final half hour coming up. We got some phone calls, 916-339-1140. You're listening to Drapes and Jay. It's the drive guys here on Sacktown Sports 1140. Last season, the Sacramento Kings gave us a little bit of everything. A Pacific Division type GM of the year, coach of the year, clutch player of the year. All-stars and all-NBA performers. Plus, we got to light the beat. Here's a steal by Fox. A breakaway. He's got the rip with the left hand. What does this season have in store? 
find out. Each and every Sacramento Kings game can be heard right here on your proud home of the beam team, Sacktown Sports at SacktownSports.com. With RT Painting, our name says it all. We are a reliable and trusted commercial and residential painting company serving the Sacramento area since 1998. Employee owned, our attention to detail is second to none. Put our decades of experience serving our community to use for you. Get a free quote today. Call us at 916-900-8112. That's 916-900-8112. Or go online to rtpainting.com. That's rtpainting.com. RT Painting, your trusted and reliable painting contractor of choice. Beachhead Deli on 711 K Street is now your place to go in downtown Sacramento prior to all the games, concerts, and events. Conveniently located just across the street from the arena, Beachhead Deli features the finest gourmet sandwiches and craft beverages anywhere. Beachhead Deli at 711 K Street is also your premier lunch destination seven days a week. Come by and say hi to new owner Brad Wakai. He's so excited to take care of all your taste bud needs. That's Beachhead Deli at 711 K Street in Sacramento. Power Business Technology is proud to be 100% independent, locally owned, and managed Toshiba Copier Dealer. Local ownership cuts out the red tape, allowing ourselves to never be too busy to personally answer the call when our clients need us. Recognized for excellence in service execution, training, and customer service, we're proud to be named a 2022 Toshiba ProMasters Elite Dealer. Contact us today for all of your business printing needs at 844-POWER-BZ. That's 844-769-3729. Or visit us at Power Copier. Welcome to the March Mania sales event at Kia of Vacaville, Northern California's premier destination for automotive excellence. Get ready for an exhilarating showcase of our 2024 vehicle lineup, where innovation meets the road and customer satisfaction reigns supreme. Step into the future with the all-new Kia Sportage, where cutting-edge design harmonizes with dynamic performance. Explore the outstanding fuel efficiency of the Kia Nero, a hybrid marvel that redefines eco-friendly driving. Experience the unparalleled luxury and versatility of the Kia Telluride, setting new standards for sophistication and practicality. Don't miss out on our impressive selection of eco-friendly Kia hybrid options, tailored for drivers who demand efficiency without compromising on style. And for those seeking the EV9, Kia Avacaville has it ready for delivery or in stock. Visit us today during March Mania and discover why Kia of Vacaville is the ultimate destination for automotive excellence. Model availability and features may vary. Please visit Kia of Vacaville for more information. Dr. Ken Howachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Art support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line is that the Good Feet Art support can be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. Afternoons Monday through Friday on Satown Sports. Shout out to Jason Anderson of the Sacramento Bee joining us here on the Drive Guys Sacktown Sports 1140. Jason was the one who asked that De'Aaron Fox question last night, and Fox said um he uh doesn't care, I guess, about being front and center and being the leader and, you know, uh, meeting with the media after games. If he's asked, he'll come out and talk. If he's not asked, well, then there you go. And so we cleared it all up. Uh, shout out to Jason for jumping on here with Drapes and Jay here. Uh, final 20 minutes here as we get you ready for uh, opening day tomorrow in Major League Baseball. We got Oakland A's 
against the Cleveland Guardians. You looking forward to that, Jay? You I'm gonna be, be that, that? I'd be a negative. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I was gonna ask you, but you you cut me, and no, not at all. I'm man, I, I'm I'm scarred, man. Really, I, I'm I am a scarred baseball fan. Really, the last two years I've been conflicted drapes. I've told you numerous times I've had Kings tickets, uh, and they've gone to waste. I just can't bring myself to go to the to the games. I told myself I had literally tickets for for the uh, I think it was a four maybe no it was a three game series in September mid September something like that against mm-hmm. the Padres. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I want to go see the Padres. That's a team I'm excited to go see. And I just couldn't bring myself to slide, really? man. I just couldn't do it. And I know you had went to a game maybe like a, a couple weeks prior to prior that. Prior to that. Yeah. yeah, I forget who they played. Yeah, I was and, down there. Yeah, and I was like, oh, man, and, you know, I was feeling bad because I'm like, Drapeson came clear across America, and he going to more A's <laughs> more games A's than A's I am. I know, right? But I, I just can't do it, man. Dang. I can't, bro. I really can't. I, I mean, what – and I know where you stand on certain things. Are you excited for opening day? Ah, uh, not really. Lost his luster. Huh? It's, all, it's lost his. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's the A situation. You know, Alan Styles is big on the Giants. I'm not sure why. I, don't know I know why. Exactly. I understand they got Snell. They got Logan Webb. You know, got a nice little pitching staff at the top. But sure. outside of that, you know, it's uh, it's an uphill know. battle for them, though. Right. It, it, I can't believe I'm saying this. The Dodgers have a stacked lineup. Yes, they do. Rotation for the most yes. part. You know, I think they're their back end of the rotation. I think they're bullpen, even though it's been decently strong over the last, yeah. you know, few years. Uh, I think, you know, the Joe Kelly's of the world type person. I have, I believe Joe is retired now. Yeah, I have to look that yeah, up. He's but been out there for a minute. Yeah, yeah. You know, those type of guys, I think that is their weakness, so to say. I just don't know if the, the Giants have enough talent. Right. You know, to bypass. Like we're talking about half a billion dollar payroll almost right, for the Dodgers. Right, yes. That's a lot. They would almost have to stumble and break their leg a few times. Yeah. And it's happened. They've played slowly at certain points in times over the last couple of seasons, but the cream rises to the top. Yep. Yep. You know, it, it really does. Yeah, exactly. Especially 162 game season, all that. I mean, the, the cream rice. It's interesting we talk about uh, baseball because uh, the Sacramento Kings, they're about to go on a long road trip. Well, a uh, four gamer mm-hmm. uh, after Tuesday's game. And they're actually going to a Yankees game ah. Saturday, April 6th. Are you a part of that? I'm not on that trip. Okay. No, okay. I'm not on okay. that one. Okay. I'm not, I, I know I'm bummed. They're, they're going to see the Blue Jays at the Yankees. Have you uh, been to a Yank game? I have not been to a Yankee really? game. Really? I've been to a Red Sox Yankee game in Boston, Boston. but not to a Yankee Man, Stadium. I, Boston is one of those places I've uh, I've always been in and out quickly. Like my my father's side is from Providence, the Rhode Island area. So I get up that way, but when I get into Boston, you know, you fly in and you might have a little dinner and you get yeah. out of there. I've yeah. never really put my two feet on the concrete. Is and this sounds stupid, but cuz <laughs> it's, you know, it, it, it's a landmark. But in reality, what is Fenway? Does it touch you? Is it is it iconic? Is it overrated? Like, where are you going with Fenway? You want me to be honest? Of course. Right? I want, man, I don't want no pump fake drapes. I want drapes in your face at Lifetime. Oh, shoot. <laughs> right, a knuckle up at <laughs> Lifetime. I think when you look at it, um, I thought it was overrated at first. I'm a big guy. Let me tell you my Fenway Park story. First time there. This is when we had first moved to Boston. My son was young, maybe like one at the time. And we took him to a Red Sox game. Guess how long we lasted at a Red Sox game? Mm, I'm going to say four innings. I wish. I think it was a half an inning. Well, first of all, the seats were too small. They're tight. Like the, The seats were built in the early 1900s. People are bigger nowadays, Jay. Yes. They weren't built for big guys like me. I got you. And my son, who's one, he's like, or two, he doesn't want to watch no baseball. He wants to run around. We lasted three outs. Three outs. outs. And we're like, you know what? We're going to get up, walk around, and then just bounce out. It's a great ballpark. It's a great environment. But from a fan, like I like, for instance, um, Seattle. Love Seattle. I love Seattle's yeah, ballpark. I love, Seattle I love ballpark. Seattle's ballpark. Huge space. Huge, you know, like humongous. It feels like everything is spaced out. It feels 
Um, I, we went in May, which was for my yeah. birthday. And uh, it, the night we went, like the first five or six innings were okay. And yeah. then, you know, seventh, eighth, nine, I was like, oh, okay, man. You can't close the roof, but it didn't feel that bad. You had a little hoodie. Yeah. You know, I liked it. I liked it. Yeah. And, wide and open. It felt wide, wide open. open. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Fenway sort of feels the opposite. It feels cramped. It feels tight. Gotcha. It's hard to move around, you know? And so that's why I like, let's say, Golden One Center, the ease of getting around. You know, it just feels open. Sure. You know, when you look at Fenway, I, I do suggest people go as a bucket list item. But it depends on the game, too, though. Red like Sox, who they're playing? Yankees, oh, okay, got you. Definitely. And I was going to Red Sox Yankee games when A Rod was still with the Yankees. Oh, you was getting it back in. when it was yes, like sir. a real thing. Mm. I was at A Rod's final game at, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, I'm drawing a blank now at uh, Fenway. Or Fenway, or, yeah, yeah uh -huh. at Fenway. And uh, it, it was, it, it's electric. And I will say that first couple of weeks of the season, first month, spring, spring, you know, sprung and everything. Mm -hmm. The energy around it, and they built it up around there yeah, too. Now, okay. Jay, I was going to ask the bars, that. the yeah. restaurants, sort of like Wrigleyville almost. Okay, you know, gotcha. you've been to Wrigley. I have been okay. to Wrigley. Yeah, it's it's so the the area around that is sort of like that, not as nice, you know. But for Boston, you know, they got a lot of bars and restaurants around there. Got you. Yeah, it, it's always you know people. Oh, it's it's iconic. It's Fenway. You have to go. But I'm always like. Yeah, that ballpark looked like a Cracker Jack box. Yeah. It looks it, like tight. you said, you know, elbow to elbow, nose to nose. And I understand there is something to it when it comes to nostalgia of like, this is Fenway. You know, this is something that's been here for many, many moons, you know, a generation, century, you know, century and a half, a couple centuries almost. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, okay, I get it. Um, I always find it interesting, though. When you really ask people, they kind of give me the answer you gave me. Drapes is like, eh. right to watch a ball game once you see it the first time. It's, like, eh, it's not one of yeah, my top yeah. top ballparks to you know visit. Like if you're in the regular seats, eh, they got the boxes though, which are nice. Like if you're really close down, it's a good place to be. Okay, it's, it's fine. You got a little more space, but the regular, you know, I was like uh, third base line. Um, a little farther up. No, first baseline, actually, it was a little farther up. I mean, it was okay. Okay. But, you know. Are you, are, I mean, there's nothing to it. Or, uh, are you a Philly guy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's where you that's rock a great with, right? ballpark. Okay. That's a great ballpark. I have not been to that ballpark. With the bullpen, yes. you can look over and, you know, fans can heckle. I mean, that's a, you know, what is it called? I don't know if it's still Citizens Bank Man, Park. You got to check. These names change yeah, all the I know, time. I know. I know. It's uh, but that's a great ballpark. So yeah, the A's uh, start tomorrow. A game you can hear uh at seven pregame at six tomorrow at right here on Sacktown Sports eleven forty. Um, how you feeling though? As we put a bow on this show, mm -hmm. final six minutes. Uh, we got Rob hanging on. I'll get to him in a second. You feeling like our therapy session was good? We had a good coping mechanism today. That's how we started off our show. Basically, how do you cope? with these losses and this up and down, how are you feeling right now? Yeah. I mean, and I kind of started to show us and I know I caught some heat, you know, one of 82, <laughs> it's one of 82. And I know it's a big game and national tele nationally televised. I'm feeling okay. I, you know, I can go one way or the other. I always am a positive guy, like half glass full guy yeah. with the understanding that, you know what, that it can come all the way down to the bottom of the barrel very quick. Right. And so I'm very interested. I think if there's any – now we're at the point in the season, Drapes, and you tell me this, it is a must, absolute, 100%. You have to win on Friday. Have to. Yeah. If you do not, come Monday, my tone and answer will change <laughs> for sure. Exactly. That's going to be a great show on Monday. Let's get to Rob, Jay. My guy, Rob, he's been hanging on for a long time, Rob. I've been checking you out, man. Thanks for coming on. You're all with Drapes and Jay here on The Drive, guys. What you got, Rob? How's it going, guys? Good. Uh, thanks, for, thanks, for, thanks for keeping me on, on hold there. I, I, I was like, ah, oh, they're going to drop me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, um, question about Sasha. It was perfect when, uh, when Jason was talking because I was going to ask originally, you know, if you'd heard any news about him. I know James Hamm was saying, you know, five games in seven days, there's no room to practice. And I, I think by now – we all know Mike likes to get a guy, you know, more than one practice after he's been injured. He wants the guy to get out there two, three times before he throws him back into a game. Um, so 
aside from that, I'm thinking more about, because you, you were talking, Kyle, uh, about Trey and uh, Sasha, and I, I got to be honest, I, I think Trey's had the better season. I think overall, like if you look at their whole body work, I think Sasha's the better player, mm. but just barely. But then at the same time, when you look at their last five games for us, Sasha was starting to play some defense for us. Um, and I'm not saying Trey can't, but he's just the, – the, the proof is in the pudding. You know, you look at the numbers. Last five games, Sasha had three steals and a block, whereas Trey, his last five games, no steals and a block. Uh, Sasha was shooting dang near lights out from three. Um, I mean, moving forward, I think we're obviously going to probably get Sasha back sooner, and we need both of them back as soon as possible. Moving forward, I know Trey's more of the glue guy, but do you do we still do you guys still see some potential with Sasha, or are we kind of at the end of this year? Kind of, you know, hope is cha- our hopes and, and and beliefs have changed, or are we still thinking, hey, that that guy could be a piece if he's if he's a solid defender like he was sh- starting to show? Um, and I don't mean to, I don't mean like Keon Ellis. I mean like give me a steal every other game, get me a block every other game. Don't turn the ball over and and just keep shooting the three like you have been. Um, I'll leave you with that thought. Thanks for thanks for taking the call, guys. No problem, Rob. Thanks for hanging on. The Sasha the situation is interesting to me, Jay, and here's why. I was in Toronto with the team, and Sasha was warming up. Then I saw him during the game at halftime or something, or during a timeout, and I'm like, Sasha, you want to play tomorrow? Talking about that Washington game, and he said, Yes, yes. Then he look back over and said, probably, probably joking, you know, <laughs> yeah. so he backed, off, backed it off a little bit, but I thought he was super close. I asked Mike Brown, this was during a post-game or pre-game press conference. Are there any benchmarks that Sasha still needs to clear? And he said, no, he said right now it's day to day. Well, day to day has turned into week to week almost. And so I, I don't know what it is. Maybe they were waiting for this little break here. You're off today. You pr- get a good practice tomorrow. But I think with Trey Lyles out, dude, this is the, this is the song right here. This is a, I know. This, love I this. love this song. Oh, my God. I'm going to play this soon as I hop in the car. <laughs> but with Trey Lyles out, Kevin Herter, I do think there is a place for Sasha, and they need him. But with 10 games left to go, it has to happen soon, I think, Jay. Can you intertwine him now? Play him some spot minutes? Yeah, like do, does he make a significant, you know, I, I guess application to what the team is doing right now? Like – is there any put? And I'm I'm asking you. You you're with the team. Yeah. I, I mean, but here's the thing. Are they looking it. for Sasha? I not so. like the players, I should say. Uh no, not real. I, I don't think so. I mean, hmm. I, I they're not questioning, and wondering like we are. But I do think you know we talk about practice time. We've seen guys go five on five before a game to work a guy back in shape. Yep. I have not seen that with Sasha yet. Gotcha. And I don't know if it, I just haven't been there for it. Maybe it happened the other day, last night against Dallas, and I didn't see it. But yeah. usually you see some of the coaches, some of the G League guys, and they're running five on five out on the court. And I haven't seen that with Sasha. Yet. You know, it, it's interesting because if he was that close, and I think that would be the the team doctors aren't letting them off the hook yet. And you have to you got to protect the guy against yourself. Yeah. yeah. But man, I would love to see it, though. Right. I we, would love we to, need see. to see him. Yeah, we we need to see him. And, uh, you know, now you're at a point, too, where the games mean so much. Are you <laughs> trying to put in a new guy? You know, uh, Friday against Dallas? Maybe you wait until Sunday against Utah? Where, I like that. I you, like you that. You know what I mean? A, yep. a little less pressure. You know, you still obviously want to get the win. But, you know, Utah is sort of, t- I don't want to say tanking, but looking forward to the offseason. Maybe you get them a, a little acclimated, adjusted in that game. See, that's where you get, we need a blowout. That's what you're right. saying. We yeah. need a blowout <laughs> to get Sasha some minutes, Sasha's fellas. just five minutes. Give me five minutes, Sasha. All right, that'll do it for the drive, guys, here on Sacktown Sports 1140. Jay, great job, as always, on the air and behind the boards. Appreciate everybody on the YouTube chat and the text line. We are back tomorrow. Whitey should be back 2 o'clock here on Sacktown Sports 1140.